everyone doing on this fantastic fucking Friday? Oh my god, how are y'all doing today? We're a little bit late, a little bit late, wee bit late, you know? How to fucking decide what videos we were watching today. Planned on doing a React Day and then doing Fortnite. However, my mods, uh, in, in te not entailed, uh, informed me... Uh, that Fortnite is still down. Is that true, chat? I feel like it's been down for, like, fucking 15 hours now or some shit. Yeah, it's been down for a while. So, um, I don't know. I mean, if it comes back up, we'll we'll run it today, uh, you know, if I'm live. But uh, if not, we'll we'll just run a whole React Day like normal, right? Fridays are usually just full React Days. I planned on doing a bit of Fortnite today, but... Uh, I mean, if the servers aren't up, the servers aren't up. I can't really do anything about that. But, uh, I'm trash for the sub, Joel for the sub, floating for the three. Uh, fact of the day, nine, the dono before I forgot, uh, to write fact of the day, oopsie daisies. <laughs> Lazy for the sub, uh, Joel, it's kid, CF, Chris, Jacob, Finn, Arrow, it's statue, and red for the sub, floating for the three. Oh, here's the fact of the day. Women are more rational than men because of a thicker cerebral cortex than men. Wow, really? I thought it was just, uh, I mean, yeah, I, that probably has to do with the thicker cerebral cortex, but to, I thought men die more than women, not just because of genetics, but mainly because men do stupid shit that gets them killed. Like, the life expectancy of men and women is not only, like, the workplace and then, yeah, just genetics, but mainly the age gap in, like, why women die older than men is usually because there's, like, a large amount of men that just die. Uh, from either, like, fucking going 120 down a highway, uh, or, you know, getting eaten by a bear, or, um, getting dared to jump off a third-story building into a pool and missing the pool and face-planting on the ground and fucking dying. Somebody already redeemed Flex. There it is. There it is. Uh, anyways, chat, uh, I mean, I, the intro was a little bit scuffed because I was asking about Fortnite, but the general plan today is that we're gonna be running, um, fucking reacts today. I mean, I'll do a little, uh, rundown of, uh, what we're doing today, but today's gonna be reacts, uh, tomorrow's gonna be the IPA stream. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm not live, um, but I'll still be uploading on YouTube and shit, and then Wednesday we'll be back on our regular, uh, schedule. Uh, doing horror games Thursday will be... I don't even know what we're doing Thursday yet. Maybe Fort Val. I'm looking at my schedule. I have it hung up. But, um, yeah, that's probably the, the general plan. I don't know for sure. Uh, but, yeah, we'll be gone for, like, three days. Going to be uploading on YouTube while I'm gone. Also, Brady, uh, who runs my VOD channel, uh, is going to be uploading uh, the Quarry playthrough for you guys uh, from, like, two years ago. Uh, very good game. I used to be a smaller streamer then, but, um, you know, that'll be up on the VOD channel for people that want to watch that as well instead of the stream, because I'm assuming most of you guys probably haven't seen that, uh, seeing that, uh, you know, that was a while ago. Um, Red Sworn for the sub, Floating for the three. Uh, I already read that. F3 and Jack for the sub. It's Statue for the five. I will just put it on and listen to it while I'm working or going to sleep. Love your content. Thank you. Uh, Greek Ben, thank you for the fucking five gifteds. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the five gifteds. Cock for the three. Hey, it's my birthday today. Happy birthday. Can you sing happy birthday? Nope. Uh, but happy birthday. F3 for the three. Nothing better than making money and watching a Joe stream. Thank you for making everybody's day, except the motherfuckers that be hating. Well, thank you for the fucking three, F3. Uh, and the nice message. Easton for the sub. Uh, FW, I like, and Psyduck for the sub. Can you please play Subnautica? Uh, no. Noah for the fucking, uh, three. If you have any games or videos you want me to react to, or games you want me to play or videos you want me to react to, exclamation point Discord, mods in the Discord link. Uh, video suggest tab, game suggest tab, tab, find, uh, find most of the videos that I watch, the games that I play. You can send videos to me, react to, games to me to play in the video suggest tab, game suggest tab on Discord. If you're already in it, you can just send shit there already. Uh, somebody said, will Brooke play a scary, uh, game? Uh, maybe next Wednesday. Uh, cause when I get back, it'll be a scary game day, but I'll be gone for three days, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, still uploading on TikTok, YouTube, the same shit, but, uh, I'll be, I'm taking a little break, uh, a little time off, uh, and then I'll be back, uh, Wednesday and we'll probably stream the rest of that week, obviously. Uh, scary game day, maybe Fort Val, Friday reacts, Saturday's probably gonna be ready or not, and then maybe, uh, Minecraft tournament, uh, or something like that, and then Sunday reacts, and we'll, we'll go from there. So I'll give you the sub RSMR for the three. 
Uh, but I was, uh, you know, I'm not really missing that many more days that are unscheduled. I was already supposed to be up on Tuesday. I streamed this Tuesday, so I'm really missing like one un unknown day uh, or unplanned day. RSMR for the three. What do you think of Avenge Sevenfold? If you don't listen to them, you should. Uh, I don't listen to them. They for the sub. Zerda for the sub. Noah for the three. Always makes my day that uh, to get that noty that you're live. I'm trying to start a YouTube channel. I wanted to know what the best editing software to use. Most of my editors use Adobe Premiere. Uh, but I think one of them might use Final Cut. I don't know for sure. Uh, but Adobe Premiere is usually the one that people would deem as best. It's also just pretty hard to learn. Uh, I don't know it. Uh, my editors do. Uh, if you... I don't even know what Adobe Premiere looks like, but that's what they say is the best. Um, anyways. Lock in here, chat. Uh, gonna do a little rundown of the reacts today. Check pinned. Oh, Bubba needs mod back. Bubba, Bubba got, uh, <laughs> got fucking, uh, timed out for, uh, a day, uh, from one of my viewers. Uh, mod Boba. Forgot about that. Um. Oh, I modded the wrong Bobat. How many underscores are in Bobat's name? <laughs> Fuck, I just modded a random viewer. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. All right, fuck. Save that one. That's always scary. How do you can you can you just type it in chat so I can copy and paste it? Honestly, I feel like if I modded a random viewer, they wouldn't know what to do. Like, do you guys even know how to mod? Like, if I modded you, like, oh, there's three underscores. All right, now I modded the right one. Okay, well, welcome back. Gold for the five. One of the first streams I've watched, but, uh, watch you for around two years. Love the content. Keep up the great work. Thank you, Cock for the three. Can you bring in Brooke to sing happy birthday to me then? No. It's Statue for the three. Uh, have you ever seen Ray William Johnson is working with Jarman, and have you seen The Walking Dead? Seen some of The Walking Dead, and no, I didn't know about Ray William Johnson with Jarman. Uh, Matt for the sub Greek for the three. Been watching yourself for a while. I think I already read that. Uh, oh wait, no, I haven't. Thank you for the three. She loved for the three. Uh, last night I had a dream that you tickled my whittle toes, and I tickled yours. It was my best dream by far. Stop. Swim, Will, and they hate for the sub, uh, Freshy for the sub, uh, and DaBaby for the sub. All right. Somebody said, really, bro? Yeah, I'm not going to sing happy birthday. Uh, I'm sorry. If I had to sing happy birthday for every one of my chatter's birthdays, it would just be me singing happy birthday all the fucking time. I'll say happy birthday. I'm not fucking breaking out and... Happy birthday. Cha-cha-cha. No. Be baller for the sub. Not doing that. Anyways, uh, run down to the videos today uh, here, chat. Uh, two people redeemed timeout. Dude, really? All right. We're going to have a limit here. You can't timeout all my mods. That is uh, not allowed. Okay? I'm going to have this. You can pick what only... No, you can't... Don't pick Bobat again. That's fucked up. Don't pick Bobat again. Yeah, limit, limit, or limit two mods per day. You can't time out all my mods. Am I immune? We have to have one mod that's immune. Because otherwise, this is just going to be an unmodded stream, and it's going to be a hellhole of fucking Among Us dicks, bam. Don't, oh, wow, we're going to time out Juan. Who did they vote? Yeah, you only can time out one mod per stream. That's going to be a rule. Juan's immune to bans. Juan's never been timed out for 24 hours, I don't think. Who who redeemed it and who are they picking? Fucking let me know in a minute. Perun for the sub, love feed for the sub, juice for the three. I'm baked as fuck right now. Your voice is making me EP. How is my voice making you EP? Jesus. Anyways, uh, lock in here. Fucking, I'll time him out in a second. Real Efri and Robson redeemed it. Why did they both redeem it at once? Real Efri said, I want Boba gone. Wow, that's fucked. And Robson said, uh, also said Boba. <laughs> well, you can't both time out Boba. Who do you want? Uh, who do you want to time out for a day? You can't both, you guys both redeemed that to time out. All right, well, Boba, we'll see you in, uh, another day. How many seconds is a day? I think it's 86,400. 
Okay, I timed out Boba for the day. And I'll say that was... I'll say that was, uh... Not Robson. Robson, you get a pick. Robson, who else do you want to time out? Double, double time out Boba? Damn. Are we allowed to let him stack? We haven't, we haven't encountered that problem. Are we allowed to have stack? I would say you're not allowed to stack. Because then there's going to be a day where like 10 people redeem it and they just time out one of my mods for like a week. I'm going to say you can't stack. No, that's a new rule that I'm that I'm fucking putting right now. You're not allowed to stack. You got to pick somebody else, Robson. No, I'm not allowing it. There's no rules. There is rules, and I make the fucking rules, buddy. Yo, Greek Ben for the five gifted. Stop in the chat for that. Thank you for the fucking five gifted. Thank you for the sub. Thank you for the five gifted. Peru and I love feet for the sub. Robson, who else do you want to time out? General Zod, Ben. <laughs> Yo, I guarantee you General Zod, General Zod was like, let's time out Boba for two days. All right, General Zod, we'll see you in a day there, brother. Sorry. RX and x Middle for the sub. Wow. Okay, well, now we're down a mod and we're down General as well, who's an active viewer. All right, well... Here's the rundown for fucking reacts today. Muffin for the sub, Mr. Goose for the sub, RX for the sub. Starting out with a fucking Jake Paul video. Shocker. Uh, he's fighting Mike Tyson. I'm fighting Mike Tyson. Uh, rank strangers from least to most gay. Uh, I tested weird company policies. New Jack Pembroke video. Haven't seen Jack Pembroke video in a while. Um, then we're going, when YouTubers mess with real gangsters, biggest meat riding fan bases. Why Vacations Suck, The Babysitter, short horror film, and then these are just short horror films I added. I kind of tacked these onto the end in case we can't play Fortnite, which I'm assuming we can't, so then we'll just watch, like, three short horror films. Um, but that's the lineup for today. If we have more time, we'll obviously watch more videos. Mr. Goose and Muffin for the sub, Big Nate for the sub, but those are the ones that we're doing uh, today. Does that sound good? Chat! Watch the Fortnite Season 2 trailer. Ooh, I will watch that, since we might not be able to play it today. Have you How the fuck is How the fuck is video of the Underworld POI yet? But he got a 4 hour countdown. What is he going to do? Look at Mount Olympus out there. It looks so cool. Oh my god, season 2 launch. <laughs> season 2 launch. 54 minutes. Sorry chat. Bonk another 4 hours. No way he sits here and waits. No way Courage sits there and waits four hours for that fucking shit to launch. That is so ass. What would you even do? Talk about Fortnite for fucking that long? All right, here's the trailer. Oh, it's fucking fish stick. It's fish. It's the fucking. It's the fucking fish skin in Fortnite. It does kind of look cool. Ooh, that's kind of a cool final skin, no live. They got an emote to go with that. Little lightning strike. I guess Zeus would be the level 100. Myths and mortals. In my Half of the Fortnite user base doesn't know who Aphrodite is. They're just going to be like, mm, Got, mm, got, mm, got skin, got skin. Oh, somebody said a slur. Hold up. Got to get them out of here. Bye. Greek for the three. Uh, trust this is my season because I'm Greek. Loud live for the three. I heard Jake Paul gets to wear headgear and gets to be heavy and be able to take drugs. Well, Mike has to be 165, can't wear headgear and not drugs. 
Uh, where did you hear that? Big Nate for the sub, Mr. Goose for the sub. I feel like that can't be true. That Medusa skin's actually fucking sick. Zerberus just... Mm, I, or Cer Cer Cerberus. I think they kind of fucking went a little uh, lazy here. This just looks like one of the wolf skins just glowing. Robson redeemed timeout again. On who? Acid for the sub. The Medusa skin looks fire, though. You know what's going to be annoying, though, is if this uh, the snake isn't actually in it. I think this is the worst one. Like, this just looks like a Fortnite. If you if you showed me this, I wouldn't be like, oh, that's Artemis. Whereas, like, the Zeus and Aphrodite, I feel like you'd be able to tell. The map looks bad. I mean, we haven't even seen the fucking map. They've only shown one fucking percent of this, like, the little sliver of Mount Olympus. Oh, God, there's a lot of water. That ain't Poseidon, bro. That's just a slime skin. That's, that's just... That's just a Minecraft slime there, man. With fucking arms and legs. That is not... I don't think that's Poseidon. Let's not... Let's not call that Poseidon. That's a fucking slime skin. Oh, they're gonna have Zeus's lightning bolt in the game. That'll be sick. Thermal scopes back? Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh. They didn't really show much of the map. I mean, I'm gonna say this looks better than the last season, though. If I'm keeping it real, I think this is adding a little pizzazz to the game that last season was, like, lacking. A little ooh, ooh and love for the sub, acid for the sub. There's a map leak. What does the map look like? He wants to time me out. Bro, Fiddle's like... I only have like four mods in my chat right now. And Brady and Evo are not going to mod. Nightbot's a bot and Stonky. I don't know. I don't know if I just want to fucking relay this on the Stonky. I don't think I can time out Fiddle. I'm going to say... I'm going to say you're not allowed to time out Fiddle. Otherwise, if you don't want to redeem that, you... I'm going to fucking... I'd say we just refund it. Mod me, little bro. Yeah, let me mod you, wakey walky. No. And Izzy Dizzy. Mod me, little bro. No. Pass. I'm not gonna mod you. Can you time out Nightbot? I feel like that would fuck Nightbot up. I'm not letting you time out Nightbot. That would unmod Nightbot. And then I feel like that would just fuck everything up. He said Yakinkin. Bro, Yakinkin just had like a two-week timeout. That's kind of fucking... <laughs> well, Yakinkin, you were back for about five minutes here, bud. You were back here. You were back here for about five minutes. We'll see. He said, what the fuck, bro? I just got back. Well, we'll see you tomorrow, Yakinkin. Actually, probably not. Because tomorrow's stream would probably be done around now. <laughs> we'll see you on uh, next Wednesday. <laughs> timeout. We'll see you soon. All right, well, now for the first uh, regular video of the day. I'm fighting Mike Tyson. Last time we watched a Jake Paul video, uh, he showed Tyron Woodley's ass cheeks, and I got a, I almost got banned on Twitch. Uh, so, I feel like I'm going to scan this one. All right, it looks good. You heard it right, mother. I'm fighting Mike. Yo, did he actually get Mike Tyson's tattoo? That's gotta be fake. If he keeps that on his face, that's gonna be so fucking cringe. Mike Tyson. I'm the best ever. The scared cow. Take your life. Yeah, that's right. I'm fighting Mike Tyson. But to spice it up a little bit, he's 65 and he uses a cane to walk. He could receive pension, yet I'm gonna still kick his ass. 
praise be to Allah. The rematch is here. Not only do I have the honor of fighting one of the two most famous boxers to ever live, it's also happening live on Netflix. Oh, what? <laughs> what? It's on Netflix? <laughs> Why? I mean, that means it's free though, right? Hey, I ain't gonna bitch. Well, it's not free, but I think everybody has a fucking Netflix account. Netflix live stream. Does Netflix even have lives? You said the fight's gonna be on Netflix? What do you mean by that? Isn't isn't Netflix where you go to watch movies? It wasn't until now. This is the first ever professional live sports event on Netflix. And with Netflix in over 500 million households and 260 million subscribers, we plan on this being the biggest fight of the 21st century, dummy. Who is putting on this event and where will the match be held? Well, it's our most valuable promotions event. My first time fighting in the state. Why is he talking like he's fucking uh, Sylvester Stallone, dude? You're Jake fucking Paul. You're Jake fucking Paul, buddy. I remember you in fucking Disney Channel, man. Just fucking talk. I mean, it's gonna be the best fight anybody's ever seen. No, just fucking say I'm fighting Mike Tyson. Yeah, Dallas, Texas. Oh, you're mad at me for fighting Mike Tyson? I'm not mad at you for fighting Mike Tyson. I just think it's like... Dude, you remember when... Who was who did Mike Tyson fight like a year ago? And it was like the saddest fight ever. And it was so fucking boring. Who did he fight? Some old, some other old fuck. Roy Jones Jr. Yeah, that was like the worst fight ever. Y'all remember that shit? I remember sitting there and being like, bro, knock him the fuck out. And they just, they just like sweat and like hugged the whole time. Threw like 15 punches. You know what sucks, though? Mike Tyson has literally nothing to lose. If Jake beats Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson's fucking 65. How old is Mike? 57. That's still old, bro. That's, like, not well past your prime, you know? If he loses, it's whatever. He's doing it for the fucking money. Whereas Jake, if Jake gets his ass kicked by 57-year-old Mike Tyson, I'm not saying Mike Tyson doesn't still know how to fight. He would beat the shit out of an average person. But if Jake Paul beats Mike Tyson, that's not that's not that impressive, right? You're beating a guy that's 30 years out of his prime. Like, that'd be like saying I'm a better quarterback than Peyton Manning when he's fucking 65. Like, yeah, if you're in the NFL, you're going to be a better fucking quarterback than Peyton Manning fucking 30 years from now. Imagine this. Jake, we got the biggest deal ever. You versus Mike Tyson live on. Damn, how much do you think he's getting paid? Mike's definitely getting paid more than Jake. That's a definitive. I think Mike's probably making fucking at least five or ten times what Jake's making. Like, if Jake's making ten, I think Mike's making eighty. Like, easily. Look up Mike training now. Nah, he could still probably fucking fight. Like, if you're in your 50s, you could still probably throw a punch, but, like, you're old. Like, he's not going to be as quick as he used to. Mike Tyson training, 2024. Okay, never. <laughs> Yo, I would not want to fight him. God, he's just big too. What weight are they fighting at? I he, Jake might say if they're fighting at two twenty, Jake's gonna die. He is old though, dude. He is fucking old though. Like Jake. That's just the thing, like, Mike might still be able to punch, but I don't think Mike's gonna be able to take punches like when he was 20. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Mike was a pro boxer when he was like 18, dude. He was in high school fucking kicking people's asses. I'm going to look that up. What weight are Mike and Jake fighting at? It'll likely be heavyweight. Tyson fought as a heavyweight for his entire career, while Jake Paul fought as a cruiserweight, light heavyweight. Paul weighs right now 199, and Tyson weighs 220. Okay, so they're prob Jake's probably going to have to weigh more. I am curious to see what Jake would look like at fucking 220 pounds. Netflix, you're going to entertain millions of people and make an unbelievable amount of money. What do you think? Nah. Exactly. That's what I thought. July 20th. Be there. Good boy. Oh man, I can't wait for the night of the 20th. I'm gonna make you can tell Jake's kind of scared of the tiger. Because, like, he's not standing right now. I, he's not, like, standing near it. I'd have that bitch all the way the fuck straight, though, if I'm keeping it real. That's CGI'd? Oh, you think that's C Oh my god, you actually think that's CGI'd? Yeah, how many white tigers even exist? And don't most of them have, like, genetic problems because they're all fucking inbred like every every white tiger alive today that is like a son of like a cousins or some shit july 20th be there oh yeah no that right there would that that right there looked like fucking cgi that's what the I chain looks real thought. i think he's holding a real chain but i think it cuts off right about there. july 20th be there Good boy. Yeah, that looks like a fucking Raid Shadow Legends animation. Good boy. Oh, man, I can't wait for the night of the 20th. I'm gonna make you my girlfriend. I'm gonna make Mike my girlfriend. I'm gonna make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. You take into the ring a lot of rage. But you've also never been punched by the most dangerous man in history. Does it pose any problem to you? It's, it's a, a fight. fight. Whatever, Whatever happens, happens, happens. You're no good for fight. I wonder if you're able to bet on it. Because that's going to change everything. If you're not able to bet on it, it's rigged. And it's and it's rigged towards Jake. If you can't bet on the fight, then it's probably it's probably just a, a rigged fight. And it's it's or it's like a fucking well, like the same thing that Mike and Roy did, where it was like uh, it's not a regular fight. What is it called when they're like fighting for like shits and giggles? I always forget the name of that shit. I think it starts with an S. Expedition or exhibition. Why did I think it started with an S? Exhibition match. Yeah. Or spar. Yeah. I don't know. It's not called a spar because spar is like practice. No, nah, it's probably called an exhibition match. If it is, then I'm going to say it's rigged. But if you could bet on it, I wonder what the odds will be. Fuck you, you punk ass white boy. He's crazy. Bro just called another white boy a punk ass white boy. Fuck you, you punk ass white boy! He crazy fighter pay! What a woman fighting on his pedestal! Look what I've done for this sport! You won't shoot without me! Oh, this is filmed. Oh, this isn't even a real interview. This is like he's like acting. I'll be watching on Netflix. I'm here, you're you're gonna see. Yeah, you will be watching. Everyone's gonna be watching. No shit. I'm just so glad to have to Yeah, cause it's free. <laughs> cause cause I don't gotta pay for it. Right? Like, yeah, I'm gonna fucking watch it. I'm gonna pay sixty dollars to fucking watch it. To step in the ring with one of the most brutal and most vicious and most ruthless champions there's ever been. That's my style is impetuous. My defense is impregnable. He wants to rip your heart out. I want to eat his children. But on July 20th, I promise you, I'll come out victorious. You know, Jake. Honestly, this is a huge fight. I got to give it to you. The way you're blending two generations of boxing. Shut the fuck up. I wish you had kids so I could stomp on their testicles. Stomp on What the fuck? Why is he trying to, why does it, I, is this supposed to, like, hype it up? Like, him trying to impersonate Mike? Or be, like, badass? Shut the fuck up. I just don't get it. Like, I like watching Jake fight. Like, I think Jake's not a bad boxer. Like, I think people don't give him enough credit as he, as he should have. I used to shit on Jake a lot, but, I mean, he's kind of proven that he's not a bad boxer, right? But... <sighs> I, I, I still think that every fucking fight he takes, man, it's not against somebody that's a real boxer. And the times that he does fight real boxers, he loses. It's not, like, that's just what I don't get. Jay Crafting for the sub, uh, Charlie for the three. If this wasn't free, how much would you be willing to pay to watch? Like 20 bucks. 
I think a pay-per-view fight for $60 when there's only main, one main fight is kind of a pain in the ass. Do you think there's going to be other fights before it, or do you think it's only going to be Mike and Jake? I don't know if Netflix was willing to shell out the bread to have Mike, Jake, and then also other fights. Like, when there was a main... I remember there was a Logan Paul fight that had, like, really good cards below it. And I was like, yeah, no, that's worth 60 bucks. But... Uh, watching, like, one fight is not worth 60 bucks. F3 for the three. I work at a liquor store. I can hook you up in New Jersey. They fizzle for the three. Other night, I snuck out and walked two miles to my friend's house, and I called my mom and told her to pick me up. You think that was a good idea? No. Um, Wait. A good idea for you to tell your mom to pick you up? Yeah, but why do you sneak out? I would say it's bad that you snuck out, you know? Chase, love, uh, Lo'uwu, acid for the sub. Uh, and CRK for the sub. When they testicles. What? Have a nice fight, Jay. F*** off. F*** off. You can't last two minutes in my world, bitch. I'll fuck you till you love me. It was more authentic from Mike because Mike had, like, genuine anger problems. And so it was like somebody would piss Mike off, whereas Jake's just, like, just repeating what Mike Jake. said. Why do you have to talk like that? Well, I'm, I'm talking to you the way I want to talk, talk to you. You, you don't like it? Turn it off the station. And once I found out the fight was on, I had to tell my family members that Mike Tyson... Why does he have, like, a, a weird gold nugget just sitting in his... Tyson... Is that Mike Tyson... Signed the contract, big boy! He signed the contract! Hi. What the fuck? Is that on your face? <laughs> hey, did I tell you that I'm fighting Mike Tyson? Oh my god, it actually looks like a tat that's scabbing. Nah, that's probably paint. It's gotta be, dude. Tyson? Oh, wait, no, that's his acne. Mike Tyson? <laughs> what if he knocks you out? Bro, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna fight Mike Tyson on that. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I fucking yeah, do it. Baby. <laughs> I fucking do it. Oh my god! No oh, way! Man. <laughs> I'd rather fight. I'd rather fight Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Floyd Mayweather, like Logan did. Just because I think I think you'd get knocked the fuck out, but I think it'd be less scary. I think I'd rather fight Floyd Mayweather than than Mike Tyson. Even though Floyd is younger, I I'd, I'd still just rather fight somebody that's not Mike Tyson. Two twenty pound, two hundred and twenty pound, six one. I can't believe it. that was Nina's first question. What if he eats her ear? Wow! Fucking wow. We back in Dallas. With, did you ever think in a million years this would happen? No. <laughs> the, just no. Just absolutely not. Growing up, who was your favorite boxer? Mike Tyson. Mike, right? Fuck yeah. Hey, Dad. Sorry. Let me just let me just set up this uh, 4K camera real quick. All right. Just kick back. All right, Dad. So, uh, you know, just out of curiosity. Who's your favorite boxer? I don't know. Probably Muhammad Ali. No, 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 Dad. No, Dad. You're probably no. All right, let's let's no, let's just let's just act like we're just starting this conversation over again. All right, Dad. So, um, who's your favorite boxer? No, oh, uh, I don't know. Mike Tyson. Oh, well, do I have a surprise for you? Oh yes. <laughs> You're on camera right now, Dad. I'm fighting Mike Tyson. Um, I'm going to be fighting. He him. looked directly into the camera. He looked directly into the camera. Um, I'm right there. Just stared. At um, it. Just stared at the fucking camera. Boom. I'm going to be fighting him. No way. In July. Dude. On Netflix. Are you fucking kidding me, Dad? Yeah. He's gonna be the hardest hitting motherfucker you ever fought. I know. <laughs> Dude, holy fuck, I'm gonna be freaking out. Yeah. Tyson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks like he's training. Like he's like, he is. You know what he's training doing? for? Who? Dude, is this real? <laughs> is this fucking happening for real? <laughs> yeah. Who is, it? Who is he asking? I'm just fast forwarding through this shit, bro. Okay, stop right there. Everyone just kept on asking me. God, look how nice this house is. Ugh. Ugh. Can we get a house tour, please? Can we get a house tour, Jake? Can we just do uh, kind of like a real estate review? I'd rather watch including that. Including my mom. 
Why would you? I'd rather watch that instead of the fight if I'm being real. Just show me the house. You step into the ring with Iron Mike Tyson. He's going to kill you and knock you out. Well, it all started four years ago when I met Mike Tyson at his ranch. And we're here, Tyson Ranch. About to meet the legend. I'm a little nervous, you know? I watched Mike growing up. So, uh, this is cool. It's cool. What is he wearing? Be here. Look at this, bro. These are Mike Tyson's gloves right here. Jeez, these are the ones I think in the video where he's just eating people alive. How much do you think we could sell these for? <laughs> <laughs> so, am I scoring Mike next, or? Huh? Yeah. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Mike? No, 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 sir. Yeah. I'll play Mike in chess. Or something that doesn't involve physical contact. It was all going great. I was meeting my childhood hero for the first time. What's up, Mike? Hey, Rock. How are you? Jake should just shave his head. Like, I feel like he looks scary with a buzz. I don't like the poof that's just like greasily sitting there. Mars loved it, huh? Good to meet you. And then he said this. Hey, from low. Uh, I'm Jake. I'm Jake. Did you hear that? Hey, from low. Hey, from low. I mean, people, imagine meeting your childhood hero for the first time and they call you your brother. And they confuse you with your brother who's also blonde and white and tall and also does YouTube and start also started on Vine and is kind of very similar in age range and also, you know, kind of looks somewhat similar from you from afar. And if you've never met the two and didn't watch them on social media, you kind of wouldn't know the difference between them. Brother's name. We don't even fucking look alike. And ever since that day, <laughs> Ever since that day, my- Like, I, I think if I asked Brooke, who's this, and just showed her a picture of, like, Jake or Logan, there would be a 50-50 shot. Like, I don't think she would be like, oh, that's Jake, or oh, that's Logan. It would be like, uh... <laughs> like, if you don't watch them, you don't know what the, you don't know who's who. I've wanted to knock you the fuck out. Standing I'm, just like that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. In all seriousness, fighting Mike Tyson is such an honor to step in the ring with one of the two most famous people to ever grace the sport of boxing. Not only will this be the biggest fight of my life, but I think this has the opportunity to change the history of boxing to be. He said, "Step in the ring with two of the most famous people." Who's the other person that he fought that was famous? The guy from Love Island. What's up, babes? What's up, babes? Tommy Fury. Tommy Fury here. What's up, babes? One of the biggest fights of the 21st century, and to step in there with a legend means the world to me. It's the biggest moment of my career, and a big challenge. Everyone I've told so far has said, don't get in the ring with Mike. He's too hard. I'm saying Ali, yeah, Ali's dead. I'm a puncher. I mean, just look at this footage. <laughs> That man is a beast, but I'm not. All right, I'm done watching this, bro. Ugh, but there's more I have to see. Taking him lightly and July I just sneeze. Then went away. My 20th. I hope to become the victor and to create history and knock out the legendary Iron Mike Tyson. Game Paul. He keeps saying he wants to fight you. Do you want to fight oh, him? God, I hate late night TV so bad. Oh, God. Everybody's named Jimmy. Everybody just leans in like this. So, Mike, um, Jake Paul, um, what's your thoughts on him, right? Reading from a fucking teleprompter, dude. Just fucking come up with your own jokes, bro. Oh, my God. That could be very interesting. It could be interesting. Mike Tyson says, let's do this. Are you down? 100%. Tyson versus that Jake might Paul be the would way. be the best fight fucking ever. How would you feel if you stepped into the ring with Iron Mike? I would be in. Could you fuck him up? Oh, I'm so fucking easy. You versus Jake Paul, like this young YouTuber, takes on one of the greatest heavyweight champions that's ever lived. I'm the best ever. That fight would be gigantic. Good. Let's do it, Jakey. Jake would make a lot of money and make a lot of money. Next video.
Blackwell, uh, Retro and Miss for the sub. Uh, Frosty and Pothead for the sub. Rex Arena for the five. Didn't know you're even live. Are we recapping the Mike Tyson stuff? Well, we were just watching Jake's video about it. It's Statue for the three. Do you still not care that Everest is uploading VODs now that you have a VOD channel, or is that an issue? Titan for the sub. Everest doesn't upload my VODs. Everest Look. uploads uh, their own videos now. There's another channel that's been uploading my videos, but uh, I told them to stop. Uh, otherwise, I'm going to have to remove their shit. Um, but I always give them a chance. You know, I'm not going to fucking be thousand dollars. I don't want to give anybody box. a copyright strike ever, especially since I do reacts. You know, like I think I transform the content, but this guy's just literally ripping my videos and re-uploading them. Uh, and so, you know, if he doesn't fucking stop, I'm just going to remove it. Voided in South for the sub Randello for the three. It's all hilarious. Been supposed. Caption read. This is who Mike Tyson's fighting. Below is a video of Jake dancing to call me, maybe. Uh, the insect for the sub, South Carolina for the sub. All right. Next video ranks. Right. Like, at least one. Put yourselves in your ranking. Stop moving. So bad. Oh, now they're Many interviewing them. All right. Now we move on. Now we move on to the next video here. I don't need to stay for the interviews. CS for the tier two sub. Thank you for the fucking tier two sub there. CS underscore EPTTV. Chunky for the three. I had an issue with my addiction to Fortnite and Fortnite skins for a while. Can't handle this downtime. Might have a mental breakdown. Chunky, thank you for the six as well. She loved for the three. Recommendation, uh, Arc Ascended. Uh, take a look at it. Send it in the game suggestion tab. Floating for the three. All right. Lean for the sub. That was a W video, though. Uh, the interview is the most interesting. Would you guys rather watch the interview? Do you guys want me to watch the interview or go next? I'm getting more no's than yeses. I feel like they already talked about it amongst themselves, right? Like, if they had just done the ranking off rip, I'd watch the interviews, but they already spoke about their sexuality. They're just going to repeat what they said. I tested weird company policies. We're going next. We got a lot of videos we got to get through. This fucking long-ass video, so. Lock in here, chat! I tested weird company policies. Jack Pembroke video. W. Jack Pembroke. Haven't seen him in a while. Me about to get into an, this is me about to get into an uber with an alligator i don't have to accept that uh actually you do and it's all because of a sh <laughs> actually uh as per uber policy i'm allowed to bring any pet i want into this vehicle as long as it has duct tape around its mouth strict company policy all your favorite companies have them you just don't know about them yet so i've uncovered the weirdest company policies that exist and today oh God, i fucking hate the texas roadhouse birthday shit oh that bothers me you gotta be a dickhead to lie and say that it's your friend's birthday at a texas roadhouse because then they all just come around and start fucking going and put you on a goddamn um horse saddle and make you go Looking like a fucking idiot in front of the whole restaurant. Test them and see if they're actually enforced or long forgotten. Starting with our very first company, Disneyland. Now, Disney is known for keeping secrets from the public. Uh, but today, I'm going to expose a few of them. You see, Disney has this long list of policies you probably didn't know exist. And this list consists of the following. Employees must use the Disney point. No marriage proposals. Apparently, that can get... No marriage proposals? You're not, there's no way they enforce that. You get on one knee and you're like, will you be my, and then Mickey just fucking rips his head off. He goes, no, 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 no. <laughs> he fucking just takes his head off or he stays in character. He like fucking punches him. He's like, stop it. There's a video of that. Really? Dude, but I've seen so many people get married at Disneyland or Disney World. People getting denied marriage at Disney. Call it the Disneyland employees ruin fairy tale. Not proposal. so magical kingdom. Disney's apology. <laughs> Good one. Apologizing to a couple whose proposal was ruined by a staffer at Disneyland Paris. It's a. I punched that guy in the fucking face. I. <laughs> Normally, normally I wouldn't say something like that, but if I'm on one knee proposing to my soon-to-be wife and this fucking dickbag in a fucking 
a uh, tight ass polo grabs my ring, he's getting fucking thrown down. Ruined by a staffer at Disneyland Paris. It's a fairy tale proposal. Like they're already proposing. <laughs> like it's already happening, and then he's like, "Oh no, no, no!" Totally. You gotta keep the map, dude. He ran up too. Nah, that's so extra. Totally ruined. Bo, <laughs> what just happened there? This guy is popping the question on stage at Cinderella. I think that's why. Ellis Castle in Disneyland Paris. Suddenly, a Disney employee swoops in, snaps the ring, and orders that. I don't think that would bother anybody, though. Doesn't that add to the idea of it being a magical place? Like, if I was wearing my. Like, you know how much of a fucking loser you'd have to be to be in your stupid fucking Mickey hat walking in Disneyland and go. Bah! Bah! Come on, man. What are you, are you fucking ruining the experience for me? Them off the platform. Luckily, she said yes before getting the boot. She said, yes, that's great, but over here, she's going to be even better. The guy kicking him in the nuts and fucking grabbing a ring. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Oh, yeah, you know what else is great? Wham! Posing had reportedly received permission ahead of time to pop the big- Oh my god, they got permission too? He got permission ahead of time and that motherfucker still took the ring? <gasps> nah. Yo, they probably got free Disney tickets for life though. Nah, low-key, this might be a good fucking- Okay, don't kick the guy in the nuts. Start crying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get your wife, get your wife to start fucking crying. Be like, you ruined it. You ruined it. Then you go to Disney for free. Whew. Question at that spot. A spokesperson for Disney says they regret how this was handled and have apologized to the couple involved. And we cut, we cut, don't worry. We cut the Disney employee's arms off so we can't grab anybody's rings anymore. He'll now be, he'll now be playing uh, Frog from Princess and the Frog where he won't need his arms anymore. Offered to make it right. But over here, she's gonna be even better. Unbelievable. Wow. Yeah, that news lady really commentated on that one. Hit you banned for life, so. Oh, wow. That's a fucking video. Uh, we'll be testing that. Wait, they got banned for life? Apparently, that can get you banned for life. Nah, that's just that because they prepared it before. Life, so. I think if you like rushed a stage, a stage and proposed, that'd be different. Uh, we'll be testing that. And finally, no dressing up as characters. That's funny. I don't remember that being in the script. <laughs> that makes sense, though. Like if you walk, if you were walking around in like a realistic Mickey costume, people would think that you worked there. I understand that rule. That doesn't mean I have to dress up as some silly character, right? <sighs> Let's just get this over with. <laughs> the kid in the back said it's Buzz Lightyear. Sorry. Bet? Yeah, yeah, something like that. The first policy is the Disney point. Apparently the employees here can't point with one finger. It has to be two. I don't know why this is a thing. There's tons of conspiracies on the internet about this and I don't even know if it's real, but I'm gonna find out. Excuse me? Hi. Could you point me towards the bathroom? Gonna... Isn't one of them that like uh, Walt Disney was like a neo-Nazi or some shit like that? And so you needed, like, the two-finger point or some shit like that because it was, like, more resembling of, like, the salute. Exit out, and then you're going to go take a left. You'll see it where the table is. Perfect. Right? Thank you so much. Appreciate it. It's actually real. I'm not going to lie. I thought that was an urban legend, but the Disney point is, in fact, real. All right, we got more policies to break. But before I could test any more policies, the unthinkable happened. Right. Hey, guys, how are we doing today? Good, good, good. Has anyone talked to you about wearing this outfit today? Uh, no. Okay, so we do have a no costume policy for anyone over the age of 14. Do we have another change of clothes or something we can... Oh, I have uh, some jeans. He goes, actually, I'm eight. <laughs> actually, I'm eight years old. I don't have a change of clothes. Um, I also didn't bring any underwear. So... Okay. I'll walk with you and just make sure we get changed out. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, uh, <laughs> I didn't last. What do I do here? Very long. All right, well, now I we know that policy is enforced. So I went to the bathroom to take off my costume, and in this moment, I realized I didn't think they'd enforce it there. You know, like I thought they would enforce it if he had a realistic Buzz Lightyear costume, not if it was, um, 
like that fucking Amazon one that he ordered. As Disney should really implement a mandatory flush. At least they're polite about it. Oh yeah, no, they gotta be polite about it. You find a Disney employee being a dickhead, they're about to get executed. Where's the Disney sniffer? You'll Jack will never find him, man. He's in the he's in the depths, dude. Right now, the Disney sniffer is sitting in a cage, just fucking waiting, right? Like a pile of shit in the corner. And he's just holding on to the metal bars. And he's just like, I'm never going to get out of here, man. And he's just forced to sniff the underwear of the Disney employees. This makes no sense for the new viewers of mine. Uh, G1 for the sub, Nolo and Slurpee for the sub, the big stink for the sub. Gucci for the five. Uh, been a while, how are you? Leanne for the sub. Policy. We have one more policy, and I'm not looking forward to this one. Somebody said free the Disney sniffer. That's also an equally bad scenario. You don't want to free the Disney sniffer. When he's not in the iron bars, he gets stronger every day. It's like a leprechaun, right? And the policy I'm referring to is the no proposals policy. Recently, Disneyland banned all proposals from the theme park. If you dare to do it anyways, it can result in a lifetime ban. And I'm a YouTuber, so you know I'm gonna test it. Here I have my wedding ring, and I have to find somebody who's willing to get fake married to me. Dude, I don't know how we're gonna find somebody. Nah, yo, but would they both get banned or just the person? How does that work? If I propose to someone, do we both get banned, or do I just get banned? Because the other person wouldn't know. Yo, excuse me? Hey, I'm doing this thing. I'm trying to find somebody who's- Hey, you look like you want to give a fuck if you got banned from Disney. <laughs> you want to try and get married real quick? Willing to, like, do a fake proposal with me? Uh, okay. Yeah? So, all right, yeah, let's do it. Nice to meet you. Okay. I know it's awkward on first meet yeah. to get married. Yeah. Let's do it. My new husband right here. <laughs> and so we scoped out where the proposal could take place, and it only felt right doing it right in the middle of the mess. Oh, no! The crowd. Uh, Are you nervous? A little, but I think I got it. Yeah. yeah. The entire area was swarming with security, so if they do enforce this policy, I was going to find out pretty quickly. Yo, do you think the security has weapons on them? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm actually really <laughs> nervous. Here we go. Um, excuse me. Could you just take a photo of me and him real quick? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody going, oh. Yes. Yeah? Yes, I'll marry you. Yes. yes. <laughs> Oh, my new husband, I love you. That might have been the most awkward thing I've ever oh, done. No. Dude, good job. Dude, all the security saw and they didn't no, even care. No, they started clapping. They did? It was nice meeting yeah, you, Yeah, it was man. nice meeting you, dog. Have a good day, man. Yeah, dude, probably after that one news story, they were. that's probably not a rule anymore. They're probably not allowed to interrupt proposals because it's it, it, as long as it's not blocking something. Me too. At the end of the day, Disney honored two out of three policies. I've also decided that one company will walk away with the title of GOAT tier, greatest of all time. I'm going to get out of here. We have more policies to break tomorrow, so we better get a roll on. And boy, was I excited because these next policies are only getting weirder. Anyways, the next company we'll be testing is none other than Ikea, the only place on earth. Y'all ever been to an Ikea? I've been there once, dude. It's fucking boring as shit. I was looking for a table. I was like, dude, all this stuff is fucking so boo. It's just like a big fucking furniture store. That's it. I don't know. I don't understand the hype. Like, they got meatballs and shit. Cool. They got food. Earth where you can buy a standing desk and meatballs all in one place. Now everybody loves the food at Ikea, but what if I told you you could get it for free? Well, lucky for you, I know how to hack the system and get some free food. The policy is quite simple. Here at Ikea, the kids eat for free. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Jack, you don't have kids. Well, I have two kids right here. Does my mom even know I'm here? You said we were gonna be in a Mr. Beast video. <laughs> Uh, we can- No, don't worry, we'll see Jimmy in a minute. He's in the Ikea. Figure that out later, for now we'll just kind of... Uh. We're gonna go into Ikea and see if they honor their policy and get us some free food. How does that sound, guys? Sounds very great. All right, we're coming up on the food court. Are you guys hungry? Yeah, yeah. Good. Hey, um, 
I just wanted to order uh, some food, and then will the kids eat free? Today, yes. Awesome. I'll do meatballs. <laughs> Today, yes. What the fuck do you mean? Not every day? I'll do mac and cheese. I'm so hungry. I say we put it in a box, and then we just kind of save it for ourselves, yeah? We can give them, like, one meatball. They're small, it'll feed them. Yeah. Okay. Do we pay here? Yeah, all together? Yeah, and then the kids were free, right? Somebody said he lied to the kids to hang out with them. That's weird, dude. He didn't actually lie to the children. They're probably fucking his cousins or some other shit. What the family card gets? The family card? Yes. It's like a rewards card that you sign up for. Oh. So it's not free? Only with the family card. Oh. Uh, okay. How much is it to sign up? What? It's free. There's no oh, charge. okay, yeah, let's sign up. And even though I nearly had a heart attack, it was actually really simple. Oh no, I'd have to spend $25 for for the food. Let's sign up through the app. Your total is going to be $21.53. Perfect, thank and you so we'll much. getting both of those for free. And so in the end, we ended up getting our two free meals. Now it was just a matter of separating the food properly. You guys can have your own, because you're special. And then you guys can go ahead and just share that right there. <laughs> You guys could battle that amongst yourselves. Decide how you want to divvy it up. I understand you guys are a bit hungry. Yeah. Well, I know. I said free food, so that's it. Ikea did an amazing job and honored their policy. The meatballs were also delicious. Extra points. So we all enjoyed our food, and for whatever reason, the kids still seemed to be hungry. Luckily, they'd have another opportunity to fill their bellies at this next establishment. Krispy Kreme. Now, there's only one thing. Don't you get free donuts if you say it's your birthday, Krispy Kreme? Better than a donut, <laughs> a free donut. And it just so happens that they have a policy here that states for every A on a kid's report card, they receive a Yo, I'd be faking the shit out of the fucking report cards, bro. What? What? Yo, I you could just literally be like, yeah, straight A's in 15 classes. Yeah, they started ramping it up. A lot of classes this kid's taking. You know, he's tacking on some summer ones, too. Straight A's in all of them. A free donut. I've given them both report cards here that I totally didn't just Photoshop and print out at Staples. For all the A's total, we should walk away with 10 free donuts. Look at that. Oh, okay. So I... Uh, these are my nephews. They have their report cards. So for every A, don't they get a donut? Yeah, maybe check it first. Here you go. Oh, that's actually a sick company policy, though. Yo, Greek Ben, thank you for the five gifteds, bro. Appreciate the fucking subs. This is from the 2020. I, I don't know why it says that. What I can do is oh. I can only give you the three ways. Okay. Come back. Yeah, we'll make you guys okay. Oh my gosh. Perfect. He Thank fucking you. photoshopped it wrong. Thank you so much. Have a good day. <laughs> Yo, dude. That is my first crime I've ever done. Really? <laughs> so all in all, we got... That was my first crime I've ever committed. Don't worry. Don't worry, son. You'll be doing crack in no time. Don't worry, son. Now you're down the rabbit hole. <laughs> Getting free donuts from Krispy Kremes. You'll be hitting a crack pipe in no time. Three free donuts. If the report cards were real and didn't say 2020, <laughs> we would actually get 10 free donuts. These two actually have A's, but we couldn't get the report cards. So technically we weren't lying. Good job, Krispy Kreme. You guys wanna eat these? All right, enjoy. I'm actually going to let them eat this time. And so we enjoyed our donuts. If you do decide to try this and come with a real report card, they will in Yo. fact honor their policy. For that, that is a policy. You could just go to multiple Krispy Kreme donuts with a report card and get an infinite number of donuts. If you live near multiple Krispy Kreme donuts or Krispy Kreme facilities, you could go with a report card of straight A's and just farm free donuts. 
Crispy and forced. Good job, Krispy Kreme. All right, enough fun and games. But are Krispy Kreme donuts really that close to each other? They're not Dunkin's, right? Like, Krispy Kreme donuts, like, you'll find, like, one every, like, 30 minutes, I feel. Like, it's not, like, they're not, like, right next to each other. Games, it's time to take things up a couple notches. This next company may just call the fire department on me. And the company in question is AMC Movie Theater. Now, I am a huge fan of movies. Avatar, Oppenheimer, Shrek. What I'm not a fan of is the policies this place makes you follow. And the policies are no the biggest scam about movie theaters is the price of a small and a large is usually differentiated by about a dollar and a half but the actual portion size is not equivalent to the price differentiation and keep in mind that a medium is the biggest scam you could ever do in your entire life at a fucking movie store if you are ever going to a movie and you want any amount of food never get a medium Either get a small or get a large, right? A small, yeah, you're going to save like two, three bucks, maybe, depending on what it is. But if you get a medium, you're paying like 50 cents less for a large, but getting like much less food. Uh, and they do that on purpose because people will just get mediums, but they're paying for almost the price of a large. So their profit margins on mediums, I believe, are higher. I don't know for sure, though. But whenever I see, I remember like ordering popcorn and if popcorn or a drink. And if you get a medium, like, what they're actually giving you for what you're paying is, like, just get a fucking large. Uh, fast food places are a bit different, but it's kind of generally the same idea. Like, either just get a small or a large. Top for the sub. No costumes, no face paint. Check and check. And the last ones are no singing along and no bringing food into the theater. No singing along? What movie are you going to fucking sing along to? Disney movies? Now that last one really gets on my nerves. You see, I've fallen victim to this place's overpriced junk food one too many times. But today, that all changes. In my secret bag here, I have a five-star meal. Will they let me eat it in peace or ban me from the theater? All right, enough yapping. Let's get to chefing. I was going in there breaking every policy possible, but I was on a mission to complete one goal. Enjoy my gourmet meal inside of the theater. Um, can I get two tickets to Wonka? Awesome. Okay. I can tap on this? Uh, no, you just tell me. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> um, thank you. I'm good with the. I can touch. Can I touch the? Can I touch the glass? Outfit? Yeah. Okay, and the face paint. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, that was easy. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. Well, there's people that go in costume a lot to like Marvel movies, right? Good, how you doing? Maybe that's a policy after, you remember that one guy that dressed as the Joker and then fucking shot a bunch of people? Pretty good. Oh yeah, ticket. You're good. I'm good with the outfit. You're good. Appreciate it. That was way easier than I thought it was gonna be. I don't wanna get too comfortable because I know the last policy is ridiculous. And with that in mind, I- When? That was like years ago. I gotta Google that. Yeah, in 2012, 24 year old gunman wore uh, a Joker outfit at the Batman movie and then killed like 20 people or some shit. I made my way into the theater, ready to test our next policy. Now that we're in the theater, the next policy is no singing along. And lucky for me, we were the only people inside the theater, but I was still worried. Yo, I've been to movie theaters before when there's like five other people, and I'm like, Stupid fucking, fucking leave the fucking movie theater. Like, what they gotta be there for. It pisses me off. I'm sitting there, and I'm waiting. I remember there was one time I pulled up to a movie theater, and it was, like, me and, like, four of my friends. And we were, like, we saw a movie, like, three weeks late, right? When, like, nobody was going to see that shit. And we're just sitting there, and it's, like, it's about to start, right? Like, the last, the last trailer. And, like, the lights are starting to fade, and then, like, four people walk in. And I was, like, motherfucker because this place having a movie theater yourself is just a dream was covered with cameras and security anyways the wonka soundtrack kind of slaps the only thing that brings you joy come to wait i think this would be a problem if there it was a packed movie theater this line it's fine ranch chocolates 1800 boxes oh deal 
Nobody cares. Policy busted. But I had a feeling they might care about this next policy because it was time to cook up a gourmet. I had a. <laughs> I, I wasn't there, but my friends did this to one of my other friends. It was kind of fucked up. They they all booked movie tickets. And one of my friends went, but there wasn't room in the row that they went to. And so he sat in the row in front of them. And they ended up, like, waiting, like, halfway through the movie. And then just fucking doused him in popcorn. And then acted like it wasn't them. So mid-movie. Because, like, you're not... Everybody that was watching was like, they just threw popcorn on this random guy, right? Because they don't know that they know each other. So he stands up and he's like, what the fuck? And, he, and they're just sitting there just like, what? It's like, you fucking threw popcorn on me. He's like, no, he didn't. And start to get, starts getting other people involved and shit. A meal. Luckily, That's I a fake story. That's not a fucking fake story. Brought myself a minute. Why would I come up? That is not an enter- If I was gonna come up with a fake story, I would come up with a way more entertaining fake story than my friends dumped popcorn on somebody in the seat in front of them that they knew. Miniature stove. But first, I would have to find a way to plug it in using my trusty extension cord. That was a 10 second story. Here we go. Let's plug in the stove. Dude, this is so stupid. Okay. Where's the outlet? Okay, it's in. So our stove is plugged in from here. All the way to here. <laughs> this is the moment of truth. Will the stove turn off? I didn't even know they had wall sockets at movie theaters. Here we go. Yeah, I feel like this is a, a fucking safety issue. It's, not it's probably on. not off. And so we had to try yeah. another outlet and another, but it didn't seem like it was going to work. Nothing's working. I thought my plan had really failed here. But Dude's not even watching the Wonka movie. <laughs> it's just... Bro has no idea what's going on, dude. You're not watching Timothy Chalamet's star performance here. And just by the chance of luck, we found one more outlet. Somebody said 100% rented theater. No. Dude, movie theaters are nowhere near as popular as you think they are. Like, on, on the day of the movie drop, they are. But if you go see Wonka fucking three weeks after it came out on a fucking, like, Monday, no one's going to see that shit. And so I decided to give it a try. Three, two, one, go. Like, I saw the FNAF movie, like, five or six days after it came out, and there was, like, no one in the theater. And it was, like, a Friday night. There was, like, there was probably, like, 20 people, but it seated, like, what, 150? Yo, Greek Ben for the fucking 10 gifteds! Dumb in the chat for that! Thank the movie gonna stop. Thank you for the fucking 10 gifteds, Greek Ben, you motherfucking goat. Thank you for the fucking 10 subs. <laughs> I watched Wonka the day it came out. I still haven't seen it. Is it good? Actually, hot. And now that our stove was working, it was time to cook my gourmet meal. We got a nice boneless oh, ribeye. Oh no, he's actually gonna cook. Here, <laughs> should have brought napkins, huh? <laughs> yeah. What if somebody pepper? comes mid movie? Steak going on the grill. This one. No, no, you hear the sizzle? It's actually cooking. <laughs> and just like that, I was cooking a ribeye steak in a movie theater while trying not to set off the smoke alarms. <laughs> All right, guys, movie theater steak taste test. It's so good. For a movie theater steak, that is a 10 out of 10. And so we devoured the rest of our steak, and on the way out, I made sure to offer some to the employees. Would you like a bite of steak, sir? No, I had lunch already. <laughs> okay, no problem. There's absolutely. Yo, that. <laughs> Bro was probably like, I mean, it already happened. You walk up to a random movie worker. Hey, you want a bite of this T-bone steak? You're holding a fucking hot plate. Absolutely no way. AMC has the chillest employee. So I don't know if they would let you in with a backpack. They'd probably want to see what was inside. Of all time. AMC honored a total of zero out of three policies. I feel like that's unsafe. Like, they should, they should search your backpack. Cease. AMC, put your money where your mouth is. With only two more companies to go and even more ridiculous policies to test, we embark on a one-hour drive to a place that I don't think belongs in- Texas Roadhouse! Ooh, 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 ooh. Give me that bloomin' onion. I'll take those rolls. Yep, I'll take those rolls. Extra butter. Thank you. California. The place I'm referring to is known as Texas Roadhouse. I've heard this place is known for being the loudest restaurant 
in the world that I- Yo, do they still do that shit where you can fucking eat peanuts and just throw them on the ground? That was the shit. I remember sitting in a waiting room. It was packed to the brim. Everybody's just fucking eating peanuts, throwing them on the ground. <laughs> I thought they stopped that, yeah, because I thought it was like, uh, not like a safety hazard, but it was like a fucking, like a, a problem. Like the amount of peanut shells. Gonna prepare me for this. <laughs> Apparently this place is also super well known for their bread rules. Now my girlfriend loves these things, and lucky for her, there's a policy- They're so cheap too. They're like fucking five dollars for like 12 rolls. Here, where they have to give you unlimited bread rolls. My goal is to take this policy to the absolute max and surprise my girlfriend with more rolls than she knows what to do with. Come on, partner. <laughs> I think they have to give you unlimited bread rolls if you're ordering them. He's probably gonna have to stuff them in his backpack. Do we just go right up here? They're free, yeah, but not if you're ordering out. I haven't been inside a Texas Red House in years, but I, I remember like I've stayed in an Airbnb and been like, damn, I'd fucking order out a Texas Roadhouse. It's very loud in here. Can I get a name? Uh, Jack. Okay, it'll be about like 15, 25 minutes. Okay, thank you so much. And while we waited for our table, we met a wise woman named Diane. Somebody said, why can't you do this with Brooke? Uh, this is not my style of YouTube content. I'm a, I'm a Twitch streamer. I'm not a, a fucking videographer. You know, like, the rules they have here? Yes. Are they as good as they say? Yes. You can have as many as you want. Eat as many as you want. And don't be ashamed to do it, because everybody does it. They're not going to refuse you. And then before we knew it, our table was ready. We're ready. Are you ready? And then this wonderful woman led us to our table uh, as if she was, like, an NPC helping us on a side quest. And first impressions on the restaurant, they weren't lying about it being Texan. All these decorations were just awesome. And I especially liked this armadillo having a cold one. Chat, which one's better, Outback Steakhouse or Texas Roadhouse? If that's not the most Texan- I'd rather go to Texas Roadhouse. I think the atmosphere- if I'm eating in, I'd rather be at an Outback. But if I'm- if I'm ordering the food, I'd rather be at a Texas Roadhouse. The food's better at Texas Roadhouse, but I'd rather not eat at a Texas Roadhouse. I feel like when you go to a Texas Roadhouse, there's just gonna be like those snot nose iPad kids that are like- <laughs> Like, it just seems like a family restaurant, whereas, like, Outback Steakhouse is, like, more, you know, date night or just kind of older friends versus Texas Roadhouse. It's like, oh, let's bring the kiddos. Thing you've ever seen. I, I don't know what to tell you. Oh, my gosh, the rolls. We just sat down. This is my official review of the Texas. Yo, the biggest waste of technology in the world is these stupid iPod touch things that they have at every fucking restaurant, and you can pay money to play fucking video games on them. Uh, Newsflash, buddy, it's 2024. Why the fuck would I pay $5 to play Doodle Jump for fucking 20 minutes? when I have a fucking iPhone and I can download that shit for free. It makes zero sense. And the games on them are always like the off-brand Doodle Jump or some shit. I remember like one time I was at an Applebee's or a fucking Buffalo Wild Wings. I was like, oh, let me just see what games they got. Tried to play one. It was like, insert credits. I said, credits? Bitch, am I at an arcade? Why the fuck am I buying that? This Roadhouse roll. <laughs> That's so it's good. for the kids? Yeah. And you know what I'm going to do if my kid's like, hey, dad, I'm kind of bored. We got a long wait for our food. I'm going to say, yeah, here's my phone. Play Doodle Jump. I'm not going to say, oh, yeah, let me insert fucking $10 so you can die in fucking Plants vs. Zombies 10 times in a row in five minutes and then ask me for more money. These are the best rolls ever. I have to get as many as humanly possible. Luckily, I have a plan. The plan is to shovel them into a backpack. Bruh. <laughs> How are you guys doing? Doing good. Yeah. Uh, it's my birthday today. How old are we today? 14. Really? No way. No, no, no. Oh, 20, 20. Okay, 20. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so we ordered two kids' meals and made sure to ask for a second round of rolls because I may or may not have uh, finished the first one. Okay, so they know it's my birthday. I don't know if they're going to do this. He's about to be shoving loose rolls in his backpack. Celebration? I guess we'll see. Our waitress came back with our drinks and more rolls. And now it was time to 
to make these rolls disappear like nothing ever happened. With a camera directly above us and waiters at every table, I had to be extra quick and discreet. Now you gotta do it one by one. Now you gotta be... You can't, you can't just slip them all in the fucking bag because say she comes back five minutes later. You just gotta be like, you gotta take one and be like, Fucking slide it under, you know? Oh, just having a conversation. Grab another one. Fucking, um, fucking throw it down. Oh, I dropped it. This is not the screen. <laughs> I would die laughing if I saw somebody do this. Okay, we're good. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank, Thank you so you. much. And while we were enjoying our food, she came back with another basket of rolls. And once again, we magically made them disappear. And then our waitress came back and collected our trays. Awesome. Can we get some more oh, rolls, please? Oh, no. Yo, if I worked at a place, if I worked at a place that you could get unlimited rolls at, like Olive Garden or some shit, and these motherfuckers order kid meals and, and eat 20 rolls, I'd be like, bro, come on. Like, you can have unlimited rolls. What the fuck, dude? Thank you so much. She's so over us. At this point, our waitress seemed to be pretty annoyed with us, and it seemed like she was just trying to get us out of there. And when she came back with another basket of rolls, she told us that if we wanted any more, we would have to pay. When she dropped them off, she said if we want any more, it's going to cost us money. So basically, it's not unlimited. And so we proceeded to shove the rolls. <laughs> It's unlimited under the premise that you order more than a fucking kid's meal. You guys spent like $12 and got a hundred rolls. Into the backpack, but then the man eating across from us told us this. Yeah. Apparently the guy sitting next to us said he's never heard of a roll limit. Honestly, I think that our waiter just doesn't want to give us more. And on that I think that they saw them pocketing them on the cameras and told them they couldn't have any more to just make it a make it an easier situation. I think they saw Jack fucking shoving 20 bread rolls in his backpack and went, all right, we're going to stop giving these guys rolls. No, we decided to wrap up our meal, but just as we were ready to leave. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Is this like a saddle? Oh, uh, Jack. When I start yelling, I guess I'll put that around the air like that, all right? Okay. All right. Attention, Texas Roadhouse. We got some very special birthday in the house. And I got my friend Jack is turning 20. Let's give it up. Last place I'd want to go on my birthday. One, two, three. Yeah! Yeah! Imagine you hear somebody in the background go, Dweeb! Awesome. Perfect. Thank you. I'm hiding and everyone is looking at me. That was crazy. All right, let's see how many rolls we got. Dang, nab it. That's a lot of rolls. That's a good... It's like $7 worth of rolls. Could I... Could I just... Would have just been easier to buy them. All 15 rolls right there. Texas Roadhouse ended up honoring one out of two policies. As far as I'm concerned, that's considered an F. Definitely not goat tier, but hey, maybe the next company will be. Now this next company is one that I hold near and dear to my heart. Uber. <laughs> I thought I'd try to trick you guys with the uh, McDonald's logo in the back there. Anyone can become an Uber, and the best part is you have no boss. Yo, I just, I just realized the other day that if you, who here takes Ubers, you can see what Uber drivers rated you. I thought you only rate Uber drivers. I didn't know that your uber rates you as well i'm so fucking serious i have two one star ratings on uber one of the times my friend made the uber driver pull over because he was going to throw up that one ticked off the box right that's the one star i don't know the other one star i don't think i've ever had i've had i oh, the rest were five and four stars but I was like, what fucking other Uber driver gave me a one-star fucking rating? Because I don't, I don't know what the hell I did, you know? Like, maybe I wasn't conversation, conversative enough or some shit. What do they rate you on? I don't know. You can't see who rated you what, but you can see what your average rating is on Uber.
Which raises the question... Maybe you didn't tip? Yeah, but I feel like he writes me before then, and I always tip. Do their drivers actually follow the company policy? In order to find out, I'll be testing drivers on the following policies. No flirting. Drivers can't touch passengers. Uber Eats too? I don't know about Uber Eats. I don't think Uber Eats drivers would rate you just because you're not interacting with them. But Uber drives, they'll rate you as like a customer if they fall asleep and finally the pet friendly policy but we'll get to that later let's see if uber can hold up against what i have planned and so i went to my local park and ordered myself our first uber our uber is on their way her name is kimberly she looks like a lovely woman but i'm gonna see if i can get her to flirt with me all right she'll be every uber profile picture jimmy's picking you up Just the the blank stare, just any. It's always it's it's always just some fucking dude, just fucking Jimmy or John or Eduardo's getting you. I'm like, oh, let me just check him out. Just, dude, I had one guy. His name I remember his name. I fucking <laughs> his name was Shane, and he was like this. In the picture. Not like that. Not that extreme. But his head was tilted down a little bit. I was like, this guy looks like a fucking serial killer. Shit was terrifying. Be here in two minutes. And then two minutes later, she arrived. Oh, is this her? This is her Uber? How you doing? How are you guys? Good. Alright, so seatbelts, guys. So, uh, how's your day going? Oh, is he gonna try and flirt with her? Super good. Any plans? Uh, weekend plans? Um, not really. I'm, I'm trying to, um, I was scrolling on... Uh, Tinder trying to find a date, but uh, <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, no luck. You know how that oh, no. goes. Unfortunately, no luck. You know how that goes. <laughs> Swiped right on uh, probably 150 different people, not one match. <laughs> yeah, but they... At this point, I don't even look at them anymore. It's just like I, 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 I developed a system to just automatically just swipe and out. Uh, it's like, it, I, it, I'm just trying to get anyone, you know? I'm just shooting in the dark here. Say that app, I guess it's pretty good. It's kind of like annoying. I like being in person. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm pretty free all the time, so if you ever want to like grab a coffee or something. Oh no. Then... Oh, you're so nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Maybe it could be like a, like a date maybe, I don't know. Some of your dude flex. <laughs> She's so uncomfortable. So you make a right here. Yeah. Oh god, he has to tell her it was for a video idea. Bro, he has to tell her it was for a video idea. Please, <laughs> please, please tip, please tip her like 50 bucks. <laughs> oh god. That might have been the most awkward thing ever. I'm kind of at a loss for words, so... The next policy we're testing is drivers can't touch passengers if they fall asleep. I'm just gonna fall asleep in the back of an Uber and see if they touch me. Let's do it. And so I ordered another Uber. This time it was a fellow named Brian. Bro! Oh my god! Every fucking guy, what is on Brian's lip right there? I grinded a little bit of Hungry Shark as I waited, and then Brian arrived. How you doing, man? Good, how you doing? Good, good. A little bit tired, though. Tired? Yeah, I'm tired. It's such a young age. A little, I'm a little eepy. You start, you start, have like sleep, you have, you have like, a, you start sleep talking, you're freaking out, yeah. Stop it! No! 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 <laughs> yeah. Well, last night we were playing Hungry Shark till like 5 a.m. I'm not cleaning up with my wife. <laughs> And now in order to test this policy, I had to begin uh, fake sleeping. I don't think Brian even noticed because he was so occupied with him and my filmer Owen's interesting conversation. Lake Nicaragua is the only freshwater lake containing oceanic animal life, including sharks, swordfish, and tarpon. Yeah. 
Wow. I touched Spanish food. I touched Spanish food. Yeah. Eventually, Brian did notice that I was sleeping. Little Guppy's trying to sleep. Oh, too much. I'm sorry. <laughs> but now it was just a question of was he going to touch me to wake me up? Not laughing through the entire ride was a challenge in itself. $2,500. Yeah, I don't think I could fake being asleep for like 20 minutes. Arabian horses and monkeys and parrots and a baby leopard came up and start hitting her with the stemple bag. She dropped the dog and the dog would find him on the leg. But somehow I made it to the destination and it was time to officially test this policy. Hey, Guppy, gotta wake up. The shirt's in here. My God, he's got a wallet or something? We'll just rob him, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can, you you believe, can you believe he's that? I sleeping. can't believe he's that out. And just when I thought that I had to wake up. No, I just gotta... Ah, uh, but he touched him with the newspaper. That's different. I don't think that breaks the rules. Yo. Oh, shoot. Uh, I woke up. I just saw sharks. I don't know. <laughs> sorry, Brian. No, no, don't be sorry. <sighs> Brian's the best guy. He's the best dude. After I looked back through the footage, I realized that Brian actually didn't technically touch me because he yeah. actually touched me with a newspaper. So I'm going to call that a policy enforced. We have one more policy to test, and it might just be the best one. I think one. he touched him with the paper on purpose. Good night, mate. Hope you like that little transition there. If you're wondering- Wow, this last Uber ride's gonna be the fucking worst. Hey, just wondering if I could bring my alligator in. <laughs> no. Well, no, you have to. You have to let me. No. Uh, otherwise, I'm gonna call corporate. Well, I'm dripped down in this silly attire. It's because pretty soon here, I'll be handling a very dangerous creature. An alligator. <laughs> Wizard's gonna eat you. All right, from the top. You see, for just an extra $2, you can opt for a pet-friendly Uber ride, except they never specify which pets are and aren't allowed. So today, we're pushing this policy to its absolute limits. Another YouTuber by the name of Zach. What's the weirdest animal you think they'd let you use? A dog, yeah, a cat, yeah. I think you could bring like a chinchilla or uh, like a bird. I think you could get away with, like, a mini pig. Somebody said a monkey. I don't think they would let you bring, like, a chimp. Not a chimp. Maybe, like, a lemur or something that was, like, a tinier ape. A snake. Mm. Something that doesn't look dangerous. A turtle, yeah. Zach Alsop also did this, and his Uber ride accepted, except he lives in the UK, and I don't know if Americans are gonna be as forgiving. I'm actually terrified to hold this alligator, but uh, I'll literally do anything for you guys. You guys make all these videos possible, and I cannot thank you enough. The uh, if they taped that fucker's mouth shut, I wouldn't be scared. You're giving me, like, a, a decently small alligator. You tape his mouth shut, I'd just be, like, holding him. That wouldn't bother me. Both has been insane. This has literally been a dream of mine since before I can even remember. We have a crazy goal of hitting a million subscribers before the end of the year. If you would consider subscribing, it would mean the world to me. And, uh... What if he bites you? How is he going to fucking bite me with his mouth taped shut? I have an alligator to catch. And within five minutes, I had a man named George knocking on my front door. And now it was time to meet our alligator. All you got to worry about is you don't want to, you don't want the tail near your face. Okay. It'll you don't smack me. your face to the side of his face. Okay. Because if you feel right here, it's rock hard. So if he were to smack you with that, it doesn't feel good. Okay. Good to know. <laughs> I'm scared. And then our alligator friend decided uh, he was going to be. Imagine he starts taking a dump. Where do they even poop out of? Pee everywhere. Hopefully that doesn't happen in the Uber, right? <laughs> we decided on going to our local Chipotle to order our Uber. I think it's safe to say our alligator friend was pretty popular. Guys, come look at this alligator yeah. over here. Uber matched us up with our. Yeah, this is right. Guys, come look at this alligator. You start fucking chasing the kid with the alligator. Our boy Cameron, and now it was just a question of was he gonna allow an apex predator into his car? What do you think? Yeah, I think so. All right, our Uber is here. Here we go. Uh, what state is he in? He's in California, right? I think in Florida, 100%. I think if you're in Florida and you order an Uber and you have an alligator, they're not gonna give a fuck. Hey, Uber? Yeah, uh, is it cool if, uh, if my little dude comes in here? <laughs> it's a, it's an alligator, but he doesn't bite. He doesn't bite. No, bro. Yeah, come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, awesome. Yeah, awesome. All right, let's hop in. 
I think that'd be a fun story, if anything. I'd be like, let me take a picture of that. Yeah, I just drove somebody in an Uber today. They brought a fucking alligator. Oh, he better start pissing all over him. Is he all right? Yeah, he's just trying to run out the window. Thank you for accepting, man. It did say pet friendly, so I was hoping that that was true. Most of the time, it's like a dog. I'm not gonna lie, though. I feel like this is a bad representation for Uber, though, because a lot of drivers take it way more serious than I do. I'm like in between right now, so I just kind of drive Uber in the meantime. Well, I hope we uh, made that experience a little more fun. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Nobody else, anybody can say that they've ever had an alligator in their car. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's crazy. Thank you, man. Right, you were awesome. Thank you so much. I'm gonna call that a success right there. Uber came in with an astonishing- I bet he paid him a lot, too. Like, especially like the, the Texas Roadhouse lady, he probably tipped well. Like, if I was doing this for a video, too, like, I would tip more than just, like, 20, 25%. I'd be tipping them, like, fucking 40 bucks. Three out of three policies honored. Also, Brian's my favorite person to ever walk this earth, so Uber is officially goat tier. Welp, I proposed, scammed Ikea's food court, cooked a steak in a movie theater, got absolutely humiliated, and put an alligator in an Uber. And what- That was a fucking great video, dude. Jack Pembroke, goaded fucking YouTuber. Liking that video. All right. I gotta go piss real quick, chat, and then we will fucking continue on with the next video. I'll be down 30 seconds. Oh. Sucks for the sub. Oh, spit for the sub. Lucas for the three. You should play this game called Ad Infinitum. It's a World War II horror game. Can you send it in the game suggestion tab? Encrypt for the sub. Uh, Bebo for the sub. Exclamation point Discord. If you have any of these you want me to react or games you want me to play, send those there. It's how I find most of the videos that I watch and games that I pay. Bebo for the sub. Rex Reno for the five. Uh, for the Roblox players in chat, the Golden Clockwork headphones are out. Press the Buy Robox tab. Uh, Zesty and Bobby for the sub. A Wit of Fire for the sub. No Lolo for the sub. Warzone for the three. Uh, Lick Between My Toes. No. Cookie for the sub. Charlie for the three. Any advice, uh, any general advice for rough days? Just realize that if you have something, I, I think in general, just because one or two bad things happen in a day doesn't mean the day's ruined, right? You got to look at the positives within the day outside of the bad things. And then outside of that, you know, if it's just been an overall bad day, realize that's one day out of, you know, however many you're going to live out of the years of your life. You know, it's just a minuscule thing. Don't let it, you know, bother you for a week. Paraski for the sub sucks and Brax for the sub. What was that song name? Uh, CNV Sound Volume 14. All right. When YouTubers mess with real gangsters, lock in here, chat. We got a lot more videos to watch, actually. Well, these are short. But we got a lot more videos to watch. Lock in. Jinxie just leaked his whole stream. What does that even fucking mean? Leaked his whole stream. Your favorite fast food place is Whataburger? What the fuck's wrong with you? You've never been to Whataburger? What do you mean he leaked his whole stream?
his whole chat saying, oh, connection lost, be back soon. Rick tonight. Chad, you know what? What did he leak? He showed the golf course he was on a couple times. Bro, that's, that's, he's fucking, oh my god, he showed the golf course he's on. Smoking for the sub. All right, lock in. How don't you, how come you don't collab with anybody? You mean like IRL collabs? Cause I, what the fuck? I, like, I, that's, I, I'm, ne I'm not probably never gonna do IRL streams. I collab with people all the time. The fuck you mean I don't collab with anybody? I literally streamed with three other streamers yesterday. And, uh, you know, nobody wants to come to New Jersey. You know, Florida, Texas, and uh, L.A. are easier collab areas. All right, lock in. When YouTubers mess with real gangsters. But I do collab with people, just not as much as some other streamers. But that's also because I want to make my own content, you know? Like, I don't want to collab every day because then I can't, you know, interact with my chat. I would say I'm a pretty interactive streamer. And if I'm collabing with my chat, I'm not interacting. Or if I'm collabing with another streamer, I'm not interacting with my chat. I'm not saying I don't like collabing with other streamers. I do. But if I was collabing with streamers three out of the fucking seven days of the week, then at those days I'm not talking my chat. Right? I'm not fucking interacting. You know? I think there's a It's the type of content that you want to make at the end of the day. Uh, and I like the niche that I'm in. Josh him for the sub. I will probably do IRL content this summer, maybe, or stuff like that. But it wouldn't be streams. It would just be like maybe like a vlog or two or some shit like that. Maybe meeting up and going on somebody else's stream. I would do that. But like the IRL stuff that like Jinxie and Sketch are doing, like I'm not going to fucking... If you're saying collab in that sense, like you want me to rent a limo and then fucking take a limousine ride to a golf course, like I'm not doing that. Um, Archie for the three. You missed my previous biddies. Uh, what did you say? Love watching you will side poop. Thank you for the five inch biddies. Um, didn't you have hemorrhoids for a year? I had hemorrhoids for like six months, Jacko. What you did to get rid of them? I drank more water. Riser for the three. My grandpa was one of the people that had to res uh, wrestle a Disney sniffer in the cage floating for the three. Wrote a four page essay on the Disney sniffer by Clash English essay. Uh, G1, no low for the sub, Shlurpy for the sub, the Big Stank for the sub, and Gucci for the five, Leanne and CS for the sub. Uh, Accuse for the three. Are you proud of me? I spoke to my crush and it was about shoes. That's cool. Riser for the three. Missed my bets. My grandpa was one of the people who had to put the Disney sniffer in his cage. Uh, and I think we're caught up on everything else. All right, lock in. Punched. Oh! oh, when YouTubers mess with real gangsters. From getting punched oh! to getting shot because real life isn't the same as online, here are seven times dumb influencers messed with the wrong... Dude, the video of that guy actually getting shot, though, is fucking crazy. Where he just wouldn't leave that guy alone and almost fucking died. Is that Lance210? People. Starting with possibly the most annoying creator in existence, Jack Doherty. His daredevil stunts and pranks, some of which are illegal, have had the police being called on him various times. For the remainder of your time, you need to put me I think I'm allowed to record yeah. for my personal... Yeah, you're my cousin. Jack's behavior during his streams grew increasingly disturbing with his move to Los Angeles, eventually leading him to getting involved in serious situations with his fellow influencers. I really want to have the take that moving to LA makes most content creators worse. Not, like, morally, but, like, it just, I don't know. It gets into the brain rot fucking, let's just have seven fucking streamers in one room just yapping, right? Rather than actually just making your own shit. Like, I don't understand that, you know? Like, you just make your own fucking shit at that point. It, it, it removes, like... it. it I think it's management to a degree, like my management as well as like everybody else's management presses for collabs because because collabs help growth because it intermingles audiences, but it also reduces original content. Like it's an original collab, but it's not it's not you making content. You're just fucking sitting in a room with somebody collabing, right? Like it's not 
it's not new. One such example was his alter- I'm not saying in every scenario. Like, I think Jinxie and Sketch doing collabs is nice, but he also doesn't live in fucking LA. But, um... I don't think collabing's bad. I think it's more so just, you know, if you're gonna fucking move to LA, you're gonna get in the crowd of, like, the clouded people that don't really care about making stuff that they might deem as good themselves. They just want to make stuff that gets views. Like, at the end of the day, I want to get views, but I'm also not going to make the content that's going to get the most views if I don't want to make it, you know? Like, there's certain video reacts that I could do or certain fucking streams I could do that might get more views than others, but at the end of the day, I'm going to try and balance what I want to do as well as what people want to watch. Vacation with Fusi. In August 2023, Jack was streaming live with Fusi and Neon when Fusi decided to throw water at Jack for calling him a beta male. Oh, no, no way, dude. He threw water in his face for calling him a beta male? Yo, you're a you're a you're a you're a oh, is that the island boys? Are they gonna kiss each other? Why the fuck are they here? The situation then escalated when Fusi swung back at Jack after he continued making comments. However, Jack's fans- FOR CLOUT! FOR CLOUT! I can never tell, right, if it's for- if, like, they're actually mad at each other or if it's all fucking not staged but just faked. Because if, like, Fusi pulled up to the Jack Doherty stream and they just had a regular-ass conversation, you know how boring that fucking stream would be? Fousey tube and Jack Doherty just fucking shooting shit. Just like, yeah, man, fucking I've been I've been fucking making money off OnlyFans. That's been the fuck Oh, that's sick, bro. I've been doing the fucking subathon. Like they if there's no beef, it's not entertaining. It's defended him a lot. Fousey is actually in the worst state I've ever seen him in. And he comes across as a nasty and disgusting person. The way he treated Jack was just crazy. But this wasn't the only time Jack's offhand comments have gotten him into trouble. Just a month later, Jack got involved in a heated argument with the Island Boys. As the argument escalated, one of the twins decided to slap Jack in front of the camera. This quickly became a pattern as he once again found himself on the receiving end of a slap, this time from a stranger who was allegedly offended by a t-shirt worn by his bodyguard. Go wa walk away. Now, the irony of provoking and disrespecting someone while cowering behind security guards is out of this world. But that seems to be Jack's strategy, causing conflicts for his bodyguard. Yeah, it actually makes me, like, physically angry. Like, if you walked around in public and fucked with people, I think it might be, like, a, a little bit cringe. But if this bodyguard wasn't here, it wouldn't really bother me. You know, like, if he, if he fucking bumped into people and then dealt with it, it'd be like, whatever. Because at the end of the day, there's going to be moments where he gets punched. But when you just fuck with people and then you get, like, some 6'5", fucking 250-pound bodyguard to stand in front of you, like... ...has to clean up, all for clout. Having a bodyguard to defend your battles after starting them is the most small man syndrome thing I can think of. And while Jack is at least aware that he's annoying and picks on weak targets, the same can't be said about Neon, who got reality- yeah, Neon's a dumbass, Neon. <laughs> Didn't Neon diss, like, the Crips or something like that? Like, he actually started, like, making fun of, like, gang members. He checked much harder than just a slap. Neon first got the taste of clout for playing dumb on December 21st, 2019, when he uploaded a video titled, Neon is Dying. Two days later, on December 23rd, he published a video called Neon's Final Words. Another three days went by, and on December 26th, it was announced that Neon was gone. However, only five days later, on December 31st, he uploaded a video telling his fans that he survived, and that it only took two days for him to recover from his brain tumor and seizure. A lot of people made fun of him. Oh, that's wild to fake having a brain tumor. Making sarcastic comments such as, He came, he conquered, he died, he resurrected. Were you killed? Sadly, yes, but I lived. I'm so sad he died, but he's alive. This encouraged Neon even further, as in mid-2023, a video of him getting beat up surfaced. However, this time around, a yeah, lot of- Yeah, that's gotta be fake. If they're filming it like people that- People knew about his spineless behavior and weren't taking things at face value anymore believing the video was fake from the start. Bro, no one gets caught lacking in the middle of- 
the reason I think that's staged is because if these guys are actually wearing masks and they're, like, holding him up by a tree, somebody would just kick him in the teeth. Like, they would fucking break his jaw. They wouldn't just rip his clothes up and hold his head and do a little peace sign. Video was fake from the start. Bro, no one gets caught lacking in the middle of a field and gets their short ripped, but their glasses stay on. His shirt not even dirty, and they in dirt. Now, it's possible no one ever told Neon about the boy who cried wolf. You know, if you intentionally disrespect the wrong person, they'll give you a reality check, and rightfully so. Neon. What? Oh, what is it? Get on your hands and knees. 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 Get this just goes to well neon's picking fights when neon's like a hundred pounds show that when it comes to a fight it's really not all about physical strength or being outnumbered you either know how to actually fight or you don't there's also a chance that neon's just a marketing genius being a decent actor in his live streams but even when going oh, well he's just doing it at the end of the day i think a lot of those guys on the kick end are just doing it to pull views and i mean you could say that's just the same of any content creator but I think their niche is just drama. You know, their niche, like Neon, Aiden gets roped in sometimes, but I think Aiden has his own thing. I think like Neon, Jack, Fousey, all of those guys are like, let's just fucking start shit with each other and then we'll make money, right? Even though we all at the end of the day probably don't give a fuck. Over the top, he can't match the toxicity. Yeah, Aiden gets more scammed than anything. Aiden's niche is getting scammed by fucking rappers that rap about scamming people. Jerka, a creator so vile, Twitch permanently banned him from appearing on their site. Jerka initially made a name for himself as a just chatting content creator on Twitch. Uh, H Fist for the sub, Kempt for the three. Have you seen the theory about the Boxy Boo might be the main villain in Boppy Playtime 3? No. Accuse for the three. Are you proud of me? I spoke to my. I already read that. However, he soon diverged to criticizing people such as Andrew Tate on both YouTube and Twitter. How many rounds? Oh, go. Fuck up that bald midget. How many rounds? I want to fight I'm you. taller, I'm stronger, and he's bald. These guys are pathetic, low life, no genuine burning desire from any of their women. While at the same time promoting even you have veneers. worse ideals on top of glorifying drug usage. I got money, so I get executive, but it doesn't kill me. He also often talks about the Earth being flat and many other conspiracy theories. Oh, remember, God. If the Earth's a globe, the Bible's not real. If the Earth had dinosaurs, the Bible's not real. Um, literally, every angle is an attack on the Bible, right? No, I I don't think that I don't think that the Earth being round is an attack on the Bible. I just think the Earth is fucking round. How that affects Scripture is a secondary thing, right? Same thing with evolution. I don't think people were sitting there like, huh, how do we take down Christianity? I know. Let's say that there's multiple different types of human-esque species like Homo habilis or Homo erectus, and let's make up the dinosaurs and and fake finding bones, right? And, and, and let's let's fake our own human anatomy and say that we have a tailbone even though we don't have a tail or like all this other shit. Like why the fuck would we do that to disprove a religion? I think that's just if it affects a religion, that's a secondary point. I think that's just fucking science. We're full for the sub. This stupidity would eventually make him start a beef with HS Tiki Talk. I can I can also understand <laughs> See, this is this is gonna be an insane take. Not even an insane take. I understand people thinking the earth is flat more than not believing in evolution. I, I, you, you just having the physical evidence in front of you of saying, okay, the earth's flat. You could reasonably try and say that more so than saying that evolution is, is not real. Right. Uh, just because it's very hard to, ar it's very hard to argue that the earth is flat but you could come up with conspiracy theories, whereas saying that, like, the Earth was created 2,000 years ago and that everything that has existed has always existed and then trying to disprove, like, all these, like, bone structures and things that people have found, like, archaeologists, it's just so fucking hard. It's not flat, though. I know the Earth is not flat. I'm saying 
if I were to understand somebody coming at a theory more, I would understand somebody saying the Earth is flat more than the fucking, that evolution didn't happen. Right? Not for the sub. Just because you could even see that with, like, fucking GM, like, like not even GMOs, but, like, artificial selection with, like, plants. Right? Like, strawberries didn't, modern cultivated strawberries didn't exist in the fucking 1600s. Right? Like, the food we eat today, we have changed by choosing what traits we want similarly to just evolution right and the effect that what the strongest thing is survives and those genetics that enabled them to survive is what carries on that multiplied over millions of years is what affects people and actually changes things into non uh human species or not non-human species but things that they weren't previously right Kentucky, and popular streamer Aiden Ross, causing an outrage on social media by making derogatory comments regarding H.S. Tiki Taki's mother, as well as Aiden Ross's former partner, Pammy. Jerka then took the rivalry to new heights when he suggested that he'll find H.S. Tiki Taki and fight him on the streets. And he did just that. Oh, boys! 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 <laughs> Unsurprisingly, the only thing he managed to do is merely show his. Now that's wild to pull up to a fight and then lose. Like, I'm not saying I'd beat Zerka in a fight, but like, that motherfucker like found a guy and then lost. Butt crack to the world and get embarrassed. Oh shit. Wait, showed his butt crack to the world. Fast forwarding. The room is usually the weakest. Zerka has the agility of an armadillo and the balance of a toddler. Now, Zerka may possibly be his own worst enemy, but the same can also be said about Sneeko, whose recent stunt had him hit much worse. God, what, is, what was the take that Sneeko had recently? I don't know if it was about vaccinations or something, but he was like still, it was like some shit. He said something. And I saw it on Twitter the other day, and I was like, no way he's still talking about this. <sighs> Fuck. I want to know what it was. Not depression isn't real. I don't know if it was that. It was something. Maybe I'd be able to find it. Sneeko recent takes. <laughs> I, don't think that would, I don't think that would show anything. Sneeko recent takes. I don't really think. It might have been about vaccinations or this. You can see him in the replies. Mr. Beast is like, peace money. <laughs> Nigger. Oof. Oof. He says the N-word hard R there. Okay. Um, I think it might have been about Chris from Mr. Beast. Yeah. People who know the truth know that, but they don't want to face the scrutiny of everybody saying, but that's transphobic. I wish I could see Sneeko's I, I don't wanna say I don't wanna say that like I never know what's going on with Sneeko just because it's on Rumble, but it's like hard to keep up with Rumble content. And I wanna know what Sneeko's been saying. But I never see it, you know. He apparently he still posts on YouTube. He pulls like a hundred K views. But his videos are like four hours long. Fuck. If somebody could find a clip of it, I've, of what I'm talking about, pull it, like, let me know. F3 for the fucking sub and the three. Tried to send a message with the sub. I don't know how to, so I sent it right after the donut. Can you please read it? Why didn't you just... Okay. I need... Uh, yes, I will read your message, right? This is what I need to ask. You just subbed to me and then sent a bit dono asking me to read the message that you typed in chat. When you could have just typed the message in the bit dono. I, I don't, I, I don't. Any advice for when your head is spinning around and you don't know how to handle it? Sometimes I just need some motivational words to keep going until you make it. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about, dude. Any advice for when your head is just spinning around and you don't know how to handle it? What are you talking about? Somebody redeemed Daisy Showcase. Refund that. I'm not going to do that today. We got a lot of shit we got to get through still. 
Uh, I'm sorry, Demi, for the sub, but Tizzy for the three. Writing an essay on great thinkers, who should I write about? Whoever you want to write about. I'm not going to tell you what to write your paper about. Nuff and we're full for the sub. What do you mean when your head is spinning around? You're going to have to, you're going to have to clarify. Like, if you're saying you're dizzy, like, lay down, drink water. Sometimes you just need some motivational words to keep going until you make it. That's what makes me think you're not saying you're dizzy. For when your head is spinning around and you don't know how to handle it. Are you saying, like, you're upset or something? Like, I don't know what you're asking me. This guy, who first got famous for his video, Would You Say the N-Word for a Dollar? Eventually started becoming extremely disliked by left-wing viewers due to his supposed misogynistic, homophobic, you and... You remember when Sneeko beefed with me? Or I beefed with Sneeko, because I technically reacted to him first. Transphobic content. But they can ask us what we do. First question when you go on a date, what do you do? They're just asking how much money do you make, but you shouldn't ask a woman her age. Why? Why? Let me see the stats. What's your body count? How old are you? How much you weigh? Tell me. I don't think you need to ask somebody how much they weigh when you meet them. I think asking, you know, like, how old are you? Maybe how many, I don't know if how many bodies you have off rip of meeting them. But I think, you know, if that's something that really matters to you, you could ask that. Like, if you're a really religious person and you're going on a first date, you could reasonably ask, like, hey, are you a virgin? If that's like something that's a deal breaker, but I would say if that if it's that big of a deal, ask them prior to the date. You know, like if you're like went on to upload. at the point of like this is a deal breaker, I would say ask before you even go out. With social political commentary and hot takes. His ideals led him into situations that quickly developed into beefs. One such instance was in May 2022, where Sneeko responded to Penguin Zero's video live. Look, like, you look, look at the curtain pulled all the way down. You need to get some sun. The whole way you're living life, like a fucking a man, you calling him a virgin, you are literally a man child. Now this did not go down well with Penguin Zero, who later uploaded a video titled... Isn't there like a shitload of women that find Moist Critical like obscenely attractive? He has like a fucking extreme fan base. I didn't want to talk about this, calling out Sneeko for making fun of his girlfriend, as well as criticizing him for defending the movie Cuties. TB Doom said Boba. It's not a Boba can't even respond because she's timed out. Realistic film. Like, yes, it shows children in a sexual way, but this is not unusual. Oh, I remember this. Claiming children in sexual positions is clickbait. I feel like we watched this actual video. Yikes. Now, Sneeko responded to this on a Rumble stream where Penguin Zero was also live at the time. The two would then continue to trash talk each other back and forth, eventually making Sneeko threaten Penguin Zero with a gun. Watch my clips. Watch my clips. However, Penguin Zero then silenced Guns? Sneeko. But he's a imbecile, you absolute buffoon. What you have there is not clips. These are mags. They're mags, not clips. You absolute the same way that this is Holy also shit. a mag. They're all mags. Now this time, the only damage Sneeko suffered was emotional, but that would change not even a year later. In February 2024... Yeah, why did he fight Sean Strickland? I feel like that's just a fucking... Like, you're guaranteed gonna lose. He got his toughness checked again as he stepped into the ring with Sean Strickland. Like, arguably one of the best UFC fighters right this now. This made the internet very happy. This is the kind of reality check these out-of-touch streamers need. Sean went from 10% to 50% and showed Sneeko what a good old ass Well, and I don't know. I don't know Sean Strickland that well. I'm, a, I'm assuming he might be a striker. But, like, if you go... If you're, like, an untrained boxer or even, like, a mildly trained boxer and you would go against, like, a grappler UFC fighter, they could just fucking suffocate you to death. Like, they could kill you in five seconds. Open feels like. Strickland should do a beat up an influencer weekly podcast. Hell, I'd watch that. However, despite being destroyed by Sean, Sneeko did have the confidence to step into the ring and take it on the chin. Literally. The same that thing cannot be said about I would not I would not be fighting Sean Strickland. This next influencer. Aiden Platersky, labeled the Crypto King, owned a crypto kingdom. But he wasn't an influencer. He was just like a crypto con artist. That seemed to be a win-win for everyone. 
You promised millions for his investors, while he got to drive his fancy cars, fly in private jets, and live in luxury locations. However, as it soon turned out, his $40 million empire was nothing but a giant Ponzi scheme, and he was about to learn the price of being a scammer. Late one night in early December, Aiden was kidnapped, and then beaten and tortured over three days. Eventually, his kidnappers, which included one of his investors, let him go, but they left him with a threat, pay up fast and don't go to the police. Well, Toronto police officers still managed to apprehend all of the five kidnappers. Following this, Aiden went on to post a video trying to garner sympathy from his followers. Everything that happened is my fault. I'm not going to put the blame on anybody else. I'm not going to try to put the blame on anybody else. I feel humiliated. I feel disgusted in my actions. I feel disgusted in what I did. But people would see through his haphazard apology. He's apologizing because... Well, yeah, he didn't he get, like, millions of dollars from investors and then not give it back? ...got caught and got his ass whipped, not because he's sorry he scammed people. Zero sympathy. While his kidnappers would all be charged with the crime, the only person not charged would be Aiden, the scammer who started the whole situation to begin with. I really don't understand how people like Aiden can simply walk free. If I walk into my local supermarket, push the lady at the till, and grab a couple of bucks and walk off, I would be in I mean, that's the argument with a lot of white collar crimes. Like if you do fucking like the Wolf of Wall Street type shit, I mean, like he got in trouble for that. But at the end of the day, those guys that are committing like those not necessarily Ponzi scheme crimes, but like big financial like like management, not financial management, but like investor crimes. I mean, a lot of them aren't going to fucking, you know, get in trouble for that. And if they do, it's more like a slap on the wrist outside of like, who's who's the one guy that's getting fucking thrown in jail? Sam Bankman Freed. But he also stole like fu he also stole like fucking five hundred million dollars or some shit. Handcuffs before the sun sets. He steals millions, admits as much and no real consequences. Well, until now. But what if getting beat up wasn't the worst injury you I don't know if I could show this. Do they show this video? No. Could sustain. Tanner Cook, a 21-year-old prankster, is the mastermind behind the YouTube channel Classified Goons. As the name suggests, the pranks are classified. Yeah, I'm getting shot over a fucking 62,000 sub channel. Not worth. Classified as dangerous, making Tanner out to be a tough goon, someone who isn't meant to be messed with. When in fact, it's quite the opposite. While Tanner elicits responses from the victims of his pranks for views, one day he didn't get the response he expected. I'm about to go full screen here in a second. Invading someone's personal space. Okay, he didn't show it. Space, and then refusing to leave them alone after they tell you numerous times leaves you with one option. You're going to get dealt with by a person who has been pushed too much. Lesson to dummies, do not prank random people or they will prank you. Never underestimate the public. Tanner, who is- Damn, Imagine filming a stupid YouTube video with your friend where you're just harassing a random guy to fucking Popeyes and then he shoots you in the stomach. Much bigger and more intense. He actually got shot? Yeah. No, yeah, he actually got shot. He had to get rushed to the hospital. This guy walked away free though because the whole video of him fucking with him the whole time got published. to the shooter was taught a master class in F around and find out. And yet, he still didn't learn his lesson, continuing to upload videos like nothing happened. So you'll continue to make videos? Yeah, probably. We'll see, you know? How disappointed are you about this? So I really don't care. Today? I mean, it is what it is. It's God's plan at the end of the day, so. Tanner was lucky to make it out despite getting shot. This is Like, he could have shot him in the heart or killed him. Something that Timothy Wilkes did not get to experience. That mall was empty. So is every other fucking mall in America. Inspired by other pranksters he'd seen, Timothy began dreaming of creating his own YouTube channel recreating some of the dangerous pranks other YouTubers had done before him. I don't know who this However, is. However, this dream got cut short in February 2021 when Timothy, along with a friend, were in the midst of filming a prank robbery as part of a YouTube video. Armed with butcher knives, they approached a group of people. Unaware of the robbery being a prank, one of those group members shot Timothy in self-defense. Now, in the end, Timothy did get the clout he wanted, but just for the wrong reasons. I mean, yeah, you I might have noticed these like, two that's, videos. That's really sad. That guy died. But if you're if you're running up to somebody with a knife and they don't know it's a prank, it's it's all like though. If you're gonna pull a prank like that, you gotta stage it. It's just gotta be staged. Like you gotta have everybody in on it. You gotta do it in a fucking private location. 
Like when, like the kidnapping pranks that those other YouTubers did and shit. Like if you actually do a real prank like that, you, like somebody's gonna die. Uh, King Wolves for the fucking twenty-two month sub. Thank you for that shit. F three for the three. Didn't wear myself correctly. Not everybody can handle multitasking. I'm really stressed over working two jobs, school, and a personal life. Do you have any advice in this case? Thank you. Um. Well, I mean, I don't know how many hours you're working, but, I mean, you might be overworking yourself. I, that's really for you to determine whether or not you are uh, and whether or not you need the money like that. I don't know your financial situation or who you are and stuff. But the one thing I could say in terms of making your life easier is just if you have a lot of tasks you got to get done, being scheduled is the easiest thing, right? Being scheduled in everything that you can. I know you're not going to be able to control your 9 to 5, uh, but being able to control all of the other stuff outside of that enables you to have more free time so you're not as stressed out and feel like you're just constantly working, you know? Um, I'm assuming if you're working two jobs and you have school, you're probably going to be working more than 40 hours a week. I would say maybe try and offload a lot of the stuff that you got to get done along those days so you might have a day or two off on the weekends where you can hang out with friends or chill or do whatever the fuck you want. But it's really up to you to determine whether or not you're fucking, you know, overworking in that sense. We need for the 500 bits. With 3,600 people in this stream, it's a mathematical probability that somebody farted in the last 15 seconds. Probably. Uh, maybe not in the last 15, but I'd say in the last minute. I would say it's a mathematical probability that, the, that there are at least 500 people in this stream taking a shit right now. I would say 1,000 people are eating. Maybe more than that. I would say a good third, two-thirds of this stream are eating. Ten tacos for the five. My chat's asking me to do a seven-hour stream, so from now until 11 p.m., do I do it, yes or no? It's up to you. I'm not going to determine whether or not you do. It's Vipo for the three. Just dropped the 45 plate on my foot, and am I cooked? Uh, if your foot's broken, yeah. All right. Next video. Biggest meat riding fan bases. How did he know? I didn't know. It's just most people, most people watch streamers or YouTubers while they're eating or shitting. It's when you're fucking bored. Fandoms are notorious for having the biggest army of defenders behind them at all times. And it only makes sense, as they say, if you love something, you're gonna fight for it. But the words, mm, criticism and fandoms go together like alcohol and driving. It's fun to do from time to time, but you can't do it all the time. The biggest meat riding slash glazing fandoms. And let's start it off simple with Apple. Ever since Apple's inception of the iPhone, I swear n have not stopped deriding Apple to this day. Motherfuckers that get the new iPhone every fucking year, dude. It's not different. Wait fucking three, four, five years, dude. Oh my god, you have the iPhone 10, then the iPhone 11. It's fucking same fucking phone. It's nothing different. Oh wow, they added a fucking third light on it. Wow, oh my god. It's fucking so fascinating. No, it's fucking same phone, right? You get a new phone like every three, four, or five years. Three to five years, you get a new fucking phone. Ten tacos for the 1500 bit. He's doing it. He he. Seven hour streams on lock. Okay, well, good luck. Like the fact that there are legit people who buy the new iPhone every year is top tier consumerism. Well, well you don't understand, Tommy. With, with the 15 Pro Max, I can officially use Wi Fi 6E and thread. What the f even is Wi Fi 6E? Your work can't be so strenuous on your phone that you would ever need that. iPhones haven't been different every year. I had an 8 and then bought a 15. Okay, that's a long gap, though. See, that's like a seven year wait ever since like 2020 i feel like if you still have the iphone 12 which came out in 2020 you're good for another four years as a matter of fact if apple didn't slow down every iphone by about 10 decades when a new one comes or weld all of the important fucking things into the phone so if you try to replace them it breaks the fucking iphone that should not be like you you should be able to replace your battery on your fucking iphone and all this other shit easier without the phone fucking breaking out, I feel like I could still be chilling with an iPhone 8 Plus right now. Apple can just keep yanking from the iPhone and D-Riders will still buy the new one. First they took the headphones. I thought he was going to be going into like, um, just like famous people fan bases. It's actually cool he's doing Apple and stuff. Then they took the charge. I feel like another product. What's another product that has a big Meat Rider fan base? I'm going to say like like Supreme, like kids that wear Supreme, Nike, I think Nike, Supreme, not Stanley. Stanley had a craze and then it just immediately died. NVIDIA, 
like big Nvidia guys, but that's also just because of fucking stocks through the roof right now. Xbox and PlayStation, more so PlayStation than Xbox. I think PlayStation players love PlayStation. I think Xbox players are kind of indifferent, you know? I think Xbox players are, I don't want to say, not all Xbox players, because some are like aggressive in saying their console's better. And this might be a biased opinion here, but I really believe that Xbox players just kind of want to be left alone, man. And I think PlayStation players are the guys that are like, well, actually, our PlayStation exclusives are better. Ah, the controller's actually, uh, you know, more interactive. Like, it's just, it's just like, bro, come on, let me play on my Xbox, you know? Like, can I just play on my Xbox? You just fucking, you gotta, you gotta always, oh, the PlayStation's cooler. Uh, who gives a fuck? Greg for the three. Alienware, Sniper for the fucking sub. I feel like Alienware is very niche, though. Virgin cable that came with the iPhone. And it's funny how they really monopolized both of these. Like, now you need to get a dongle for headphones. And the cheapest official iPhone charger cable is $19. And this is $19 for a one and a half foot cable, by the way. But I officially had to draw the line when the Apple Vision Pro came out. It's one thing dropping a band on an iPhone. Two bands on a MacBook. But if you're out here spending $3,500 before taxes on the Vision Pro, you need a financial advisor immediately. This is straight up somebody's mortgage payment, maybe even two rent payments. And I think buying the first gen of a new item is usually a waste of money. Because like five, six years from now, whenever they come out with another Apple VR, I think that's when it's going to be worth it. Because the first version is always going to be the fucking worst. And I mean, you could say like, oh, yeah, the older version is always going to be the worst one. But the like the iPhone 15, yeah, it's going to be worse than the iPhone 16. But it's going to be fractionally worse comparable to the Apple VR 1 versus Apple VR 2. It's depending on where you live. Sure, it looks cool. In the yeah, but it's going to be like 10 bands. Yeah, but it will probably fucking teleport you into a fucking different reality. Display is heavenly. But even walking around with it, I don't know. It just seems so dystopian. If you walk down the wrong alley, you're a free bag, and I don't even blame the thugs that are gonna rob you. But the main thing I'm confused on why you would get this is that you can't even game on it. You can use Apple Arcade games, but you can't actually play Steam VR games. Compared to something like the MetaQuest 3 that came out and it's 6x less of the price. If I'm being dead ass, if I had an Apple Vision Pro, I'd probably just use it to watch YouTube. Like when I'm taking a shit. Just fucking sque take, squeezing a dump out, you know, just watching YouTube. Like, it's just movies. It's just easier to watch, you know, shows. And, like, because your TV is stationary. Whereas if you just throw the headset on, you could, like, feasibly just, like, lay on your side and watch something. And it'd be easier, too. Oh, my God. You lay on your side. Now you can watch something that's also on its side. You fucking rotate it. And you can actually see with it just like the Vision Pro and play games on it. I think I know which choice I'm going with. The one that won't bankrupt me. <laughs> oh my god, y'all Apple fanboys got me defending this lizard creature out of all things. I swear I'm not paid off. I don't know if that makes me look more innocent or more guilty. The next people we got is Kanye D-Riders. It seems like the more and more Kanye gets canceled, the more deeper his meat riders grip onto it. Even coming from a super ultra mega gripped Kanye D-Rider like me, I could look at something he says and be like, wait, that was, that was a little wild at the least, right? But not. I think that's because if you have a wild issue or wild drama, the people that are stay that stay are going to be the super fans that are like diehard defenders, you know? Like those are the people that are going to be the ones that are more extreme than others and since Kanye's done so many extreme things, he has the most extreme fan base. Oh, the top glazers I've seen won't even admit something like that. Like at the very least, we can all agree certain things he said on a certain day on liking a certain person is wrong, right? And Kanye D riders will swear to you that every product at Yeezy is absolute peak. Buying every type- nah, the new Yeezy socks look so fucking stupid. I keep seeing ads for them on my fucking For You page on TikTok. It's pissing me off. And they're trying to show, like, how good they are, brother. Like, 20... They're just socks with fucking hard platforms. Both shoe, garment, and shoe pod thing. Honestly, I bought... Go. Oh, my God. Like, they just... You know how dumb it's gonna look? Like, what's the point of owning these? They're not fashionable. Like, I just wanna wear shoes. I feel like shoes are fashionable. Now, yeah... 
now I only need to slip on a sock and it's also a shoe. But it's like, when the fuck am I going to use this? These and I'm not sure if they're going to ship. Please don't scam me my glorious But some things like the Yeezy foam runners, it, it might just be me, but I simply find them appalling. Sure, they're comfy for home and all, but why do I see people legit putting on fits with them? You could plop on the Nerf football logo and I think it's one of them. Me personally, I'm going to stick with my Crocs. At least the holes look presentable to me. Then we got the Yeezy 450 clouds. My who was buying these Venom Simboy ass shoes? Some some of the Yeezys look good, but I would say like the foams are the ones that I see the most, and I fucking hate the foams. Dude, they look like dinosaur shoes. Who's matching it with a fit? You wear these while you're sleeping and the soul is gonna come alive at- The Yeezy foams look like if you stepped in a puddle, the water wouldn't leave that shoe for a fucking week. And you'd be able to like bend the shoe and wring it out. Like it's a fucking washcloth. At night and overtake your body. The alternative name people have come up for the shoe online is the dumpling. And honestly, the resemblance is kind of uncanny. And Kanye fans will stay pressing people for not having him in their top threes or top fives. Like if my friend doesn't have him in their top three or top five, I'm not about to go and give him a thesis statement on how Kanye's the most influential rapper of all time and not having him in top threes a sin to all of- I wouldn't say he's in my top five. I wouldn't say he's even near my top five. Like, I, I like some of his music, but I wouldn't throw him top five rapper all time. Am I going all time or just my favorite rappers? All time, yeah, he people are probably going to throw him in. But if I'm going all time what my favorite rappers are, oof. I'm going to go... Uh, in no order, Eminem, Lil Wayne, Kendrick Lamar, I don't know if I want to include Drake in the top five, because I only have two other spots, Travis Scott's definitely not on that list. Top five rappers ever, you're going to throw, you're going to throw Travis Scott. I think Kendrick Lamar, Eminem, and Lil Wayne are respectable choices. Ice Cube? No. I want to throw Ice Cube. You could you could throw, like, NWA, but that's a rap group, not a rapper. And I feel like that's its own fucking categorization. Honestly, I kinda, I've been listening to Nas more, so I kind of want to throw him in there right now, but I also think that's just because I like Nas right now. And then I want to throw... I'm going to throw Kid Cudi, bro. But he's not even a rapper. Like, he's a rapper, but he's also kind of like a hip-hop rapper. I'm not going to throw Kid Cudi. <laughs> Last in the top five. Damn. Ice Cube does make some good songs, but I would not say he's top five. I would say I just think he has, like, catchy beats. I'll throw fucking Xavier Wolf. I'll throw an, I'll throw a, a, an unheard take. Of rap. The effort I see from some of these fans. J. Cole. Yeah, J. Cole's decent. J. Cole's decent take for top five. I don't think anybody would disagree with Eminem, Lil Wayne, or Kendrick Lamar. I think those three are like, okay, that's a reasonable choice for top five. 21 Savage is definitely not in top five rappers all time. I think that is a fucking wild take to say 21 Savage makes top five. You could throw in fucking Tupac or fucking Biggie Smalls, but like those, that's just because they're OGs. Man, y'all would be amazing writers in Hollywood. And let's go right across the bridge to the next category, the Swifties. Oh, Before gosh. we go through with this, however, I have a statement prepared for such occasions. <clears throat> Dear Swifties, in no way would I ever disrespect Queen Taylor and her queen status as number one. I've been an avid Taylor Swift supporter ever since my mother birthed me from her womb. It's not that I found Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift found me. The amount of turmoil and things she's- <sighs> Okay, okay, uh, are they gone? Safety is the number one priority for me and my family, okay? We're not risking anything over here. The Swifties right now can make their own nation and have a thrive- I think the Swifties are more prominent, though, just because she re-released her album. I think two years from now, Taylor Swift isn't going to be as- as- no- as media-driven, right? Like, like, four years ago, no one was talking about Taylor Swift. Like, I mean, everybody still, all her fans still listen to her music. Like, yeah, but she wasn't, like, a forefront on social media. I think she's just known now because her massive world tour and the re-release of all the albums. So she's just, she's a number one streamed artist right now. 
What I don't like is when people say Taylor Swift's number one streamed artist, Taylor Swift's number one stream artist. I'm like, yeah, she re-released her album, right? She re-released all of her music, right? If another famous person re-released all their music, they would also be number one, right? I think it would be a more Weekend is number one. Well, Weekend's also just number one because he's more known worldwide. Weekend is somebody that people from all countries listen to, whereas Taylor Swift is predominantly listened to in English-speaking countries. What about Justin Bieber? I think if Justin Bieber re-released, I don't think he would contend with Taylor Swift. I think somebody that would contend with Taylor Swift if they were to re-release all of their albums would be Drake. I think if Drake re-released all of his music new, I think he would probably be up there. Kanye? No, just because of the, the recent shit with Kanye. I don't think Kanye is going to be... I don't, I don't think that would be hype again just because, you know, Kanye's gotten on the news and been like, ah, well, Hitler wasn't. I think government. Their army would beat the likes of the USA, China, Russia, Japan, India, any nation really. I feel like out of all deriding fan bases, the Swifties are king right now and it's not even close. Like I could insult Kanye for example and sure some Kanye deriders will be in my comments. But I'll sweat to the bullets known if I post a tweet hating on Taylor Swift. My full name and address is getting leaked to the public. Well cause you can, and this is something where I'm gonna agree with Swifties. If you diss Taylor Swift, you're usually dissing Taylor Swift because her music isn't isn't your style her lyrics are good like you can't it, yeah i would say when i diss taylor swift i'm saying i think she kind of does the same thing too many times in the sense of like relationship based songs but like her her lyrics are good like if you read her lyrics they're poetic brooke brainwashed you i've never not had that take i've always said that taylor swift had good lyrics i will still stand by the take that eminem is a better lyricist than Taylor Swift and Brooke saying that Taylor Swift is, is a better lyricist than Eminem is wild. I think that's an obscene take that I would never get behind. I think arguing that Taylor Swift is be a better artist po like lyrically than Eminem is just a terrible take. I think that's not even an arguable take. I think you can't even compare that. But I think that, you know, her songs are good, right, lyric wise. I they're just not my style. Cuban for the sub, floating for the three. My favorite rapper ever is Bo Burnham. No, it is not. Greg for the three said Alienware. I already read that. Look, they're going to find my parents' occupation and get them fired. They'll Kendrick's a better lyricist than M. I would say that's a more arguable. Th well, that's also in the same realm where it's like rapper to rapper. Somehow find my cousins in Ethiopia's address and dox them. I don't know how they do it, man. They work faster than the FBI. And even looking at something like the Taylor Swift Ayers movie, I don't think people realize how insane this is. I'm thinking to myself, this is an actual movie that she acted in. Y'all see the clips where the, the movie, uh, like the movie theaters had all the Taylor Swift fans like gathered around in the center on the floor, like running in circles. And had a film crew on deck. Turns out that whole movie is a three hour recording of her concerts. And then is it really? I thought it was like a documentary with some songs. What is the Eras Tour movie about? Is it just her concert? The Taylor Swift The Eras Tour extended version included three songs from the tour that was not shown in theaters. Long Live The Archer and Wildest Dreams. Immerse yourself in a cinematic views from the history making tour, which features music from Taylor's 17 year, 17 year award winning career. It was shot at SoFi Stadium in LA. It's not even a fucking documentary. It's just her concert. I'm confused. Made 261 million at the box office. Fortnite servers are up. Is that fact? That's more than a lot of blockbuster movies nowadays. I don't know about y'all, but I am not paying for a movie ticket to watch a concert in a movie theater that already happened. Even if I couldn't make it to the concert in person, I'm just not doing it, man. I'd rather look at some recordings from somebody's phone on TikTok or YouTube or something. And with this NFL. My question is, Swifties, is you're spending all this money on jerseys and merch and whatnot, but what are you about to do if Taylor Swift simply stops giving a f 
about the NFL. I know for a fact 99.9% .9 of them did not care about the NFL before this, which is indeed top tier D riding. Someone making you pay attention to a whole sport you never even watched is at the maximum. And in the span of their five month relationship, yes, Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey have only been officially dating for five months, by the way. I feel like we're in a genjutsu because this feels like it's been going on for five years. You think they're gonna get married? I don't know, man. I feel like I, like, it, it just. Her other relationships, I didn't obviously keep track of. But I think in this scenario, she's, like, not old. But she's in her 30s, right? Like, I think now is, like, all right, you know, you're going to get married. You know, you got to get married soon. She's 34. Yeah. You know, you got to get married soon. You know, you can't have kids for too much longer. She, aka the Swifties, have managed to make the NFL 331 million dollars. All for her showing up on the screen every 10 seconds to hit some emotes. Also, why does the demon come out of them when you- Nah, but I'm gonna still stand by that take that it's not Taylor Swift's fault that they show her at the NFL- at the NFL games. People dissing her for that is wild. Diss the NFL. The NFL's doing that because it breeds viewership for them. If anything, diss the NFL for being a fucking sellout just showing Taylor Swift all the fucking time to increase viewership. It's not her fault she's at the fucking game. She's supporting her boyfriend, and she's rich, you know? She's going to a fucking NFL game, just like other famous people do. Insult her. Like, I've seen white girl BLM Emily who advocates for every cause and loves everyone. But let someone black hate on Taylor Swift or the 1950s side comes out of them. They inherit their great-great-great-grandma's genes. They're gonna be slanging every type of slur at you like no tomorrow. I'm not saying this is the average Swifty, but I've seen it a lot more than I should've. Next people we got is LeBron Glazers. Now, compared to everyone on this list, I feel like LeBron's is a little more tame. Because most of the time- it No, I think Steph Curry Glazers are funnier than LeBron Glazers. I think if you're a fan, like, isn't, um, like, Flight, like, Flight loves Steph Curry. I think it's just hilarious when people are like, oh, Steph Curry's so good. Uh, you know, he's really good at threes. He could shoot my three. It's just jokes and trolls and for giggles. But keywords. Most of the time. I think sprinkled in between the jokes is dead ass dude serious about what they say. Like some of y'all want that meat straight down your- Dude, the funniest shit is when LeBron fakes that he's read books. You ever- <laughs> You ever see- Bro, I love LeBron. But that is like the funniest shit ever when it's like- When he's like, nah, I've like- I've de Nah, I've I love this book. I'm like, no, you didn't read that fucking book. Throat. Why am I seeing videos of dudes on TikTok rubbing a lotion on LeBron posters? Okay, this is see, now that's just wild. Motherfuckers do that shit with my, with my fucking picture too, which is wild. Straight up gayer than having gay sex. You might as well come out. And I've never even watched Cash Nasty, but all I know him is as the biggest LeBron D-Rider in the entire world. This man has ever- Ethan for the three. Is it okay if it takes shrimps at 15? Don't think you should. Uh, I've been smoking weed for 10 months, so you think it's okay if, okay if I do it. Don't think you're ready. You want my honest take, but, you know, can't really prevent you from doing anything. I wouldn't say you should take shrooms at that age, but, uh, up for the sub. That's just my take. Every one of his jerseys from- I think a lot of people think, I, it, it's not even necessarily, like, an age thing. I would say, yeah, obviously, if you're 15, you shouldn't be taking shrooms, and I would say, definitely, like, you're not ready. But I also think that it's just, uh, most people that say they're ready for shrooms are not ready for shrooms. Most people that are like, oh, I could take mushrooms, you know, oh, is it a little hallucination? No, right? Whole different ball game. You've never hallucinated in your life, right? I feel like a lot of people miss that fact. Like, I know, I have a lot of friends, like one of my friends, I already told you guys, he thought he was in the movie Get Out and he called the cops um, while I was there, or he tried to call the cops and then somebody took his phone. Um, he was like an avid weed smoker and he was like, man, just give me fucking, he was like, man, just give me like two grams, which isn't even a lot. Uh, and he started freaking the fuck out, right? Have you ever taken shrooms? Uh, anyways, um, I think most people that say they're ready, uh, say that because they've smoked weed, but you've never hallucinated, right? No, the majority of people in their entire lives will never hallucinate until the day they die, right? And people that say, oh, I'm ready to hallucinate. No, you're not, right? You don't know, uh, what it's like. Right, and you could say you're ready, but you you can't definitively say that because you've never fucking hallucinated. People are like, oh, I know what I'm getting into. No, you don't. Right. I would say, you know, I would say stray away from shrimps and shrimps in general. I'd say shrimps are, you know, not as bad comparatively. While I have my own experiences with those types of things, I would say that 
uh, you should not be taking mushrooms or smoking weed at 15. Uh, but that is, you know, what I'm going to tell you. Whether or not you follow that, I don't know. Rachel for the three. Another crazy fan base is 21 Pilots. You have a 21 Pilots. I, I feel like they don't really... They might have a crazy fan base, but they're not really in the media that much. Somebody redeemed headset that. Somebody said you just ignored us. What the fuck does that mean? Uh, S car for the four. Um, I smoke 11 grams a week. Is that bad? I would say, yeah, you're almost smoking half an ounce a week. I would say that is more weed than I smoke by a very large margin. Every year. I'm pretty sure LeBron doesn't even have all of his jerseys. And sleeping in a... Why do you smoke weed? I eat edibles more. Did you do it at 15? No. I did, the first time I smoked weed was on a, what was when I was in college. Bed with LeBron as and the, you know other things. The blanket, yeah, you're you're just lost after this. But let's move on to the next person because I could never disrespect my glorious king too much. Next one we got is Elon Musk fans. Some of y'all might be confused and are wondering. Elon Musk has a fandom? Well, I'm here to tell you yes, and it's pretty sad. Not only is it, I think Elon Musk. Super fans are more so Tesla super fans that kind of fall into the categorization of Elon Musk fans. Sad that you're glazing someone till no ends meets, but you're glazing the richest person in the world. That has to add a little bit of sad brownie points, no? If you want to find them, it's pretty easy. Just go under any Elon tweet and you're bound to find some. Some of these people deride so hard they call Twitter X just to appease him. Ain't no one other than an Elon meat rider actually calling it that. His fans believe in him so much they'll get scared. I don't think anybody will refer, like outside of maybe Elon on meat riders like do you guys refer to x as twitter or twitter as x or x as x or twitter as x wait no x x is x or x is twitter i still call it twitter i will never not call it twitter for the rest of my life i will call it twitter i will never call it x hamburger for the sub kukuru for the fucking sub and by some random crypto that's gonna advertise supposedly by him and when it turns out that it's fake and they use the random elon musk voice ai for the advertisement they f around and find out their whole account gets sucked out its soul like i hope these glazers know that elon is not lending you a band i think some of them expect in a time of turmoil of their life elon is gonna pay their bills off because they glazed him and they always come up with an excuse when people bring up the billionaire thing well you, you, you've got to understand, he, he's not like the others. He, he's one of the good ones. Nothing good ever comes People out. People do that with Taylor Swift, though. Out of he's one of the good ones. But also, alternatively, Elon Musk is like 156 times more rich than Taylor. My white friend's racist grandma told me that the other day. I don't even care to hate on people for being billionaires like that. You made your money. What am I going to do? Cry about it? I got to make some money too. But we all know there's exactly zero ethical billionaires out there. And especially with Tesla, I wonder if these D-Riders even know how those batteries get made. That'll probably sheath off the godly image they have of him. And every time I go in a comment section of a clip of him explaining some basic science, I'll see people like, Wow, he's such an anomaly to this world. What? How did he even think of that? Only Elon could. He could explain that 2 plus 2 equals 4 and his fans would be entertained. I mean, Elon is obviously a smart guy. You don't get to a $200 billion mark without knowing what you're doing. But I kid you not, every one of the clips I see of Elon explaining something, it's pure suck to the max in the comments and the last person we got is known by many names jordan carter sir cartier gay bisexual twink vampire playboy cardi i don't know how playboy cardi uh does he really have that much of a meat rider fan base comparable to other rappers i mean he mentioned kanye i would say nba young boy fans are more meat riders than playboy cardi Cardi does it in to attendance this day, but his relationship with his fans kind of reminds me of a toxic. Hold up, I gotta play a Playboy Cardi song. I gotta refresh my fucking memory here. Playboy Cardi. Oh, he was in Fiend. Dude, I can't help but think this is that shit that that kid with a speaker in high school is listening to. Like, with his backpack, just... This is gonna have... If this is on YouTube, this is gonna get cut out. I'm sorry for the VOD viewers.
for the light. <laughs> like that kid. That's just doing the wackest dance moves in fucking the hallway, dude. Just blasting whatever song he's listening to. Relationship where he's the one always doing the most trash things to his girl, but she keeps running back to him so he doesn't leave. I really be thinking, how much abuse can you Cardi stands take before it's enough? Like, why do I see grown with kids talking about? Oh my god, man, his aura is gonna make me cream. Y'all Cardi D riders will take his whole style and make it your whole aesthetic on Instagram. I'm not talking about one post, I'm talking about ones that make their whole page it. Trying to act mysterious and opium and. Meanwhile, you just ringed up my Big Mac meal with Coke earlier. I've seen D Riders also get into that satanic just because of Cardi. Why was one of my friends I grew up with in church for Bible study? Yeah, but most people don't realize that, like, most Satanists don't actually worship. <sighs> not, not, I wouldn't say this about most Satanists, but Satanists, if you say you're a Satanist, that doesn't necessarily mean you actually worship the devil. Uh, if you're a Satanist, you can fall under the category of being somebody that is just against religion and politics being intertwined and kind of using the idea of worshiping the devil as like a means of uh pushing what is normal societally and kind of like giving a fuck you to like what that would normally be like i've watched a documentary on satanism uh and had to take it a fucking week-long course about it in my dangerous religions class and satanism isn't um always just somebody worshiping the devil and doing goat sacrifices like, sometimes it's people just being like, I want to be gay, you know? And they're like, uh, so they, they say they're a Satanist, and then they might do, like, a public, uh, what is it called? Like, a public display, and then they'll talk about Satanism, and then it'll just be like, there's, like, a clip of, like, a bunch of Satanists just making out that we're same sex to kind of just be, like, a fuck you to, like, people that say they're sinners or something like that. It's not necessarily just they actually worship the devil, right? Some might, but I would say that just because somebody says they're Satanist doesn't mean that uh, they actually worship the devil. Every week, rocking a hoodie with a pentagram trying to act opium. I know if I told his mom what activities he was up to, they strapped him to a table and started an exorcism. Only time I genuinely saw Cardi getting criticism for his fans was with the whole Aiden Ross situation. But after about two days i think that was their limit and now they're back to salivating for his music drops and if cardi wasn't cardi any other rapper would have been booed out by the masses from the industry cardi's the only rapper i know that can abuse his pregnant girlfriend play the playstation while his son is being born and still have glazers there ready to defend every reason on why he did it in the actual footage where cardi was getting arrested there was a fan on standby already there ready to glaze shouldn't you be worried on if you're actually going to prison or not how is this even possible cardi could go to a remote african village and some Someone would somehow find him and get ready to glaze. I think their dead ass NPCs spawned in the world just to do that specific action. I've never seen it so bad that they're selling things from his music video just to get a smidgen of his aura. They're selling the lollipop from his music video. Oh hell no, $251,000. The grass from his music video. How do you even prove these things? Do you taste it and go like, mmm. Mm, oh yeah, this is definitely- I feel like that's more for the memes, though. There's no way somebody actually fucking buys that. My glorious Jordan to Michael Jackson. A glance. Last thing I have to say is, I don't care what any of his stands say, MJ did opium first. Follow me on Twitter, Insta- Alright, that was a W video. Love Tommy NFG. Anyways, uh, are the Fortnite servers actually up, chat? Rex Arena for the five. I personally don't do rituals or anything like that. I have the Christian vision of God and Satan. I personally believe no God exists. Rachel for the three. Could you listen to the tw new 21 pilot single? No. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm just not listening to any uh, any new songs today because then I get a lot of song recommendations. Uh, are they up or no? Ace for the sub. They're not up? All right, word. Hold up. I got to go piss real quick, and then we will um continue watching YouTube videos. We're going to skip the Why Vacation Sucks one for today. Move it to another day. We'll watch. Would you guys be fine with just watching the three short horror films that we got lined up? JTY for the three. Took RMPS class while we were talking about the Jim Jones cult. Then I thought what was the difference between a cult and a religion. Uh, basically, every religion starts as a cult. Uh, religions have just a, a much larger following and have more of a general, like, 
uh, rule set basis in line, as well as the fact that it's kind of deemed as this isn't a scam or somebody trying to, like, fuck with you, right? Whereas cults are kind of up in the air, like, uh, of whether or not they're moral or not. Uh, because a lot of cults are just dickhead leaders that are trying to scam their people for either women, power, money. Whereas religions are kind of more solidified as trying to be, like, morally for the good. Um... But, I mean, that's also just my differentiation in my own head. What the actual definition is, I don't know. But, chat, I gotta go pee real quick. Count me down 30 seconds. Uh, FND for the sub. All right. Chat lock in here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hold up, I've got to delete the bot comments on the new post. Uh, all right. Chat lock in here. We're about to watch a few scary short films. Uh, we have three. Should we turn off one of our lights for this yes or no? Also, we are going to upload on YouTube when I'm done. I don't know what exact video yet, but Hold up. let me see if uh, one of my editors responded. Un momento. Un momento, un momento. All right, lock in. Sorry, I had to respond to my editor there. Maybe. Uh, what is your hardest take? The take I have that most people don't disagree with is uh, that if you are at your own house and you take a piss, you don't need to wash your hands. If you're in public and you use the bathroom, you need to wash your hands. If you poop, you always need to wash your hands regardless of where you are. But if you are at your house and you take a piss, I don't need to wash my hands. Uh, I think that's a take that most people actually get pretty upset with me about. Go for the sub. Do I have any other bad takes, chat? What are other weird takes that I have? Honey for the five. You not streaming next week is a blessing in disguise for me. I'm going on a school trip to Guatemala and won't be able to tune in. Uh, so you won't miss my streams. Hope all your streams next week are good. Well, thank you for the fucking 500 biddies. Somebody said LGBTQ. You think that's a rough take of mine that I support the LGBTQ? All right, chat, lock in here, watching a few scary, scary short films. Probably not going to be that scary. The Babysitter, short horror film. 
who stunk for the three? I know you mentioned playing the new South Park game, but I definitely think the other two games would be a better stream game. Why would the other two games be a better stream game if you've never seen the new game? What do you mean? And I'm not going to play the old South Park game, sorry. Kuiper and Style for the sub. They would just do bad. I know they would do bad. It's not all just about performance, but I just know they would do really bad. Hack for the sub. Not necessarily because they're bad games, but they're old, right? They're like, if the new South Park game's coming out in two weeks, why the fuck would I play the old games? You know, there's no point. Um... That'd be like when Red Dead 2 was dropping. That'd be like me saying, all right, let's start we'll start up Red Dead 1. I'm like, no. All right, lock in. The Babysitter short horror film. If you have any games or videos you want me to react to, exclamation point Discord. Send them in the video slash tab, game slash tab on Discord. It's how I find most of the videos that I watch, the games that I play. So if you have any videos you want me to watch, games you want me to play, send those there. Exclamation point Discord. Mars for the three. My dad died a little bit ago. Rip in the chat. I'm sorry to hear that. You've really helped me, and I love putting your VODs on at night. Well, I'm glad that you like putting my VODs on at night. Um, and I'm sorry your dad passed. Uh, I mean, I'm glad I could help uh, in any way that I was able to with my content, but I'm sorry uh, that you still had to go through that. Uh, Mars loves to stream. Thank you for the three. Uh, formidable for the three. Are you a fan of heavy metal or metalcore music at all? Heavy metal, yeah, but not that much comparable to just bass rock. All right, the babysitter short horror film. Lock in. I'm babysitting. Maybe a scary story about that. Did you hear the one about the babysitter and the man upstairs? The one where the stalker keeps calling? Telling her to check the children? Yeah, that's the one. You heard it already? I would not want a living room where the couch isn't against the wall. I feel like that would just skis me out. If you got a living room, the couch must be against the wall. Didn't you watch this? No. I've watched uh, horror films from this same channel, but not this one. How does that one end again? Well, she calls the police, and they tell her to get out because... Gummy Bear, I gotta call you back. Caleb snuck out of bed. Okay, Pudding Pop. Bye. Bye. Okay, Pudding Pop? Caleb, come out of there. You're supposed to be in bed. Caleb, she right Like, she didn't see him sneak in there? Caleb? I was sleeping. What do you want? Bitch, I'm backing the fuck up from that goddamn... Oh, hell no. She better shine her phone flashlight in there. What the fuck? Stop. Sorry for waking you, Caleb. You can go back to bed. Can a kid get some sleep? Kid just gets fucking decapitated. Throws head like a football at her. Check the child. Ha ha. Real funny, Mark. This isn't Mark. Who is this? Motherfucker calling her acting like Scooby Doo. No way the kid got murdered that fast. Oh, shit. Yo, she she's low-key a fucking idiot. Like, if they're behind a closed curtain, and you know they're in there, just fucking... Fucking collapse that shit and start swinging on him. Why are you opening that fucking bitch up and then determining whether or not there's actually somebody in there when you saw the fucking phone light up? Like, somebody's in there. Just fucking start punching them. Then they can't see you. Formidable for the three. Are you already with that? BMG for the sub. was 
so fucking stupid. That was so fucking stupid. These are all from the same channel. These are about to be so trash, chat. You're still afraid. Stop it now, I mean it. They're coming to get you, Bob. Bro, you're already, like, see, again. You're tell like, I'm gonna have the reaction time of a fucking cheetah. You hear, like, an iPhone picture noise? With the fucking light? You're still afraid. Stop it now, I mean it. And you're not gonna immediately get your ass up off that couch? It's the same house? Yeah, it's the same fucking channel. Bust that for the sub. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it! Never catch me watching a horror movie alone. Do you guys watch horror movies alone? Fuck that. I've watched, like, thrillers alone. I, I love horror movies, but I would never, like... I'd never just be like, yeah, let me just turn on The Conjuring. I feel like a horror movie is a group experience. Whereas, like, a comedy movie or something like that, you could watch alone. I think action films are the best watch-alone movies. I think comedies and horror movies you watch with other people. Hello? Hello. Are you happy with your current home internet? We are... You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child. They're coming for... I think I'd have a heart attack. I think I'd have a heart attack, and then after I was done having a heart attack, I'd run, grab a weapon, and then fucking scour the house and murder whoever the fuck was in there, dude. That's some parasocial ass shit from that fucking game. You remember the Chills Art game we played? Oh, fuck that. She's zooming in like, oh, is that me? Dude, he's right fucking behind you. I just run outside. Bruh. She is so fucking stupid. Grab that, grab that lamp as a fucking battering ram. Grab the heaviest metal object you have and fucking bum rush his ass. She really just saw him. You can fucking see him. He's fucking standing right there. You're looking at him. Gotta turn on the fucking shitty iPhone flashlight. That's gonna fucking help you uh, illuminate the room. What fucking iPhone flat? There is no iPhone flashlight that has that level of brightness. That focus, dude. An iPhone flashlight in the pitch black, you could fucking see two feet in front of you. She locks herself in the bathroom. What a terrible play. <laughs> Chat, we really gotta watch Party a Scary Movie. You know how they do that with Amazon Prime? I don't know. I don't, like, do you guys have your Amazon Prime and your Twitch Prime linked? Because you would have to to be able to watch it with me. But I feel like that would be fun as fuck. Watching just, uh... Yeah, you can watch... If you're, if you're a streamer and you have your Amazon and your Twitch Prime linked and your viewers have it, then I'd be in, like, the weird top right corner, but the movie would be centered. I'd just be, like, say this was the movie, I'd be, like, off cam somewhere over here in, like, another box, like, right above the chat box. So it'd kind of move me entirely off, but the movie would still be in the middle. And then you can watch party movies. <laughs> what movie would we watch? I don't know. Whatever fucking Amazon Prime had. What's, like, a good Amazon Prime fucking scary movie? They probably got, like, The Conjuring or some shit. Yo, Piero! Thank you for the fucking raid, bro. Dub in the chat for that shit. Thank you for the fucking raid, Piero. I appreciate that. I'm about to do a little shout for Piero. Fucking love you, bro. 
No Piero for a fucking while. Um, hello, Piero's viewers. If you don't know me, I'm Joe Barnt. Twitch streamer, YouTuber, TikToker. Do all that stuff. Would rather be, you know, Twitch, you, Twitch, Twitch streamer, YouTuber referred to than TikToker. But, you know, started on the TikTok realm. We're doing a little React Day today. Do variety content. Watching a scary video right now. This dumbass decided to hide in the bathroom from a fucking stalker rather than get a weapon and charge him. <laughs> my guess is she's gonna die. And what's your emergency? Yes, there's something in my apartment. Can you get somewhere safe? Police are on their way. Hello? How the hell is he in the bathroom? Are you there? That's not fucking possible. Oh, there might be two of them. Like she didn't see him when she went into the bathroom. She went into the bro. She went into the bathtub and he was just standing right next to her. Hello? Peekaboo. I could a hundred percent kill that motherfucker. That guy's like sixty-five. <laughs> what? Paused it last time. That's exactly where she paused it last time. <sighs> nah, maybe it's a. Hello? Hello. Are you happy with your current home internet? We offer several services. I think you. Bro, you saw the future in your fucking dream, bitch. Act on it. Act on it. That motherfucker's in the closet. Get a bat and kill him. Hold up. Yo, that's actually fucking... Dude, if she still dies, she's an idiot. So, what do you think? Can I sign you up? Oh my god. The same thing's gonna fucking happen. Bro. No way. No way. No way. No way. If she runs into the bat, If she runs into the fucking bathroom again... I see you. Yo, he he has a greasy ass fucking face, bro. Wow. Kick him. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Oh my god. Oh god. No, that one was better than the second. Maybe maybe they're getting better, you know? This one has uh, the most views, too. P. Damn, they got this bitch in 4K. Who are you texting? <gasps> it was my mom. No. She was telling me what my dad got her for Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah? Got you something? Uh, <laughs> oh, my gosh. These are my favorite. I got something for you as well. <laughs> oh, you got me chocolates too? Yeah. These don't have nuts in them, do they? Because you know I'm allergic. Babe, really? Foreshadowing! Foreshadowing! He's gonna die of anaphylactic shock! You think I'd forget about your nut allergy? Of course there's no nuts in there, silly. Just being safe. <laughs> well, should we eat one? Yeah, okay. Why is there like a red light on hers? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I fucking hate those chocolates, though. No lie. They're not bad, but, like, I'd rather just eat, like, a fucking Milky Way or a Reese's Cup. Like, I'd rather somebody get me a fucking Reese's Cup than one of these things. Just because, like, half of them suck. You know, there's, like, there's like five good ones, and then you bite into one, and you're like, huh, what's this? And it's, like, some weird molasses shit. I just had a fucking memory of a stream I did, and I entirely forgot about it. Does anybody remember when I did a raiding Valentine's chocolate stream? That was, like, years ago. 
I don't even think there's a YouTube video of that. That had to be like that had to be like fucking 2020, dude. Like nah, not 2020. Maybe like early 2021. Valentine's chocolates, Joe Bart. I really don't think there's a clip of that. There's not. That is fucking nuts. I swear I watched that on YouTube. You might have watched me rate milk and cookies on YouTube. I did that for a fucking stream. Or I did Halloween candy. That was probably fucking like February of 21. Juice for the sub. Egg for the three. Watch party Rick Staniki. It's on Prime. What is that? It probably is nuts. This isn't even a horror film. He just dies of anaphylaxis. So, Amber, is it? What? Amber, the name of the girl you've been cheating on me with, right? Babe, I don't know any Ambers. Really? Then why is there an Amber in your phone? I'm telling the truth. I don't know any Ambers. I know. You've been texting her. <laughs> This is literally murder. This is... If you feed somebody nuts that has a nut allergy... How long have you been cheating on me with her? <laughs> Babe. <laughs> Did you just say anaphylaxis? Anaphylactic shock? Isn't that what it is? Anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis is a severe, potentially life-threatening allergic reaction that can develop rapidly. Joe, did you just say anaphylaxis? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Somebody said he deserves it. Well, I think he's a dickhead cheater, but to say that he deserves to die, uh, I think that's a bit over the top. <laughs> she didn't mean anything. <laughs> Thank you for telling the truth. And now that we're both being honest, I lied. Those chocolates, they did have nuts in them. He's also low-key a dumbass for not just looking. Like, I feel like he could read the label. Happy Valentine's Yo, oh. Do you think you would get do you think you would get charged with murder? Cuz there wouldn't necessarily be Her eating the chocolate like that is just fucking irking me. Oh, oh, that actually aggravates me. The Oh fucking make me want to clench my jaw. Fucking hate when people eat like that. Like, just eat the whole fucking chocolate, too. Why are we biting that shit in half? I don't understand that. Like, if I ever see somebody eat a half a Pringle, oh, I just get so mad. I get so mad. Like, it's one of the things that actually... Like, I'm not gonna say something... But if it's, like, my friend and I see him eat half a fucking Pringle, I'll be like, dude, what the fuck? Just eat it. Just eat the fuck. It's it's a bite-sized chip. It, you can fuck. You can eat the whole fucking chip. Anyways. Chat, we're going to call that there. Bit of a shorter stream. You know, still three and a half hours. But Lil Madden for the sub egg for the three. Uh, w stream. Mikey for the three. I haven't caught a stream in a while. You said you would uh, never make a VOD channel. Why did you all of a sudden decide to? Um, because I decided to switch my music over to a different track that would enable it to not be copyrighted. And then it was like a whole thing. And while I could copyright Everest videos and make money off of it, the percentage that I was making after the copyright claims and everything was just so much less. Uh, coupled with the fact that I have more rain over the VODs that I post. Uh, how I splice them up, the the thumbnails and stuff. And so the VOD channel is doing really good. I, I just saw a higher potential for the VOD channel than um, what was on Everest's channel. Everest still did a great job, but it was like, I, I and Brady told me he could automate it, which is one of my editors. 
Uh, outside of that, though, chat, we're going to post on YouTube right when I end, so make sure to go uh, tune in for that. Um, I'll be live tomorrow at probably around 2 p.m. EST. We're going to be doing the IPA stream. I'm going to be rating a bunch of craft brews. Uh, I think I got 21 or 23 uh, craft brews, craft beers that we're going to be rating. Uh, I'll have the whole table out and everything. We'll probably get drunk on stream. Might have the, uh, you know, the breathalyzer out as well. Uh, should be fun. Uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I'm not going to be live. That's why I was live this Tuesday. Uh, I'm normally live or off next Tuesday, but I'll, I won't be live Sunday, Monday, Tuesday next week. So I'll be off for three days. Uh, going to have an old VOD post on the VOD channel then. I'll still be posting on YouTube every day then. Um... And then I'll be back Wednesday. We'll be back on a regular schedule doing horror games. Might have Brooke play Don't Scream on stream. Outside of that, I'll be doing itch games. Maybe finish and escape the back rooms with Max. Midnight for the sub. Um, Thursday will be probably Fort Val, new Fortnite season. Uh, next Friday will be Reacts, uh, maybe some gaming. Next Saturday I'll be uh, probably Ready or Not, and then either a Minecraft tournament or um, some Sim games. But yeah. Hope you all had fun watching. I had a fun time streaming. We had a great chat, great audience. They had a lot of people that popped in the stream. Exclamation point Discord. Join the Discord and send videos to your actor and games for me to play. Videos slash I have games slash tab. I find most of the videos that I watch the games that I play. Outside of that, W stream. Uh, and I hope to see you all tomorrow or future days uh, that you want to tune in. But yeah. Uh, let's fucking uh, raid somebody. Who do we want to raid today? Hmm. We could raid, um, oh, Tommy NFG. Let's literally raid Tommy NFG. We were literally watching one of his videos earlier. Anyways, hope you all had fun. Uh, and I'll catch you all tomorrow, 2 p.m. EST. Be there to be square. We're going to raid in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Go watch the YouTube video. I've got to post in like five minutes. See you all tomorrow.